Okay, now we'll get to questions. Yes, now we have it. Uh, <laughs> first question here we have uh, from our Discord. Uh, I know that when 1.4 launched, you had specific guidance for what we, the player base, could do to help you design, help us, the design group. Yeah, yeah. Talking now and looking forward to 1.5, what are the items we can take a look at uh, for you in the immediate future? What, yeah. are, what are things that you really want the community to focus it's on? It's such a good question. So uh, I think we're down to balancing um, Really, for me, it's in this uh, hitting in 1.5, truly, but even now, like understanding how you feel about um, where armor and uh, and evasion and thresholds are at, um, understanding also, like, we have a bunch of items and we have a bunch of equipment that all is in the book that has been there the whole time, like, getting feedback on that so that we know, oh, these things I really like, these things I don't, these mechanics seem to work and they don't. Like, I'm excited to see all of that. Um, and also, for me, domain cards are, uh, uh, in specific, the levels five through like eight or nine, right? Like that's the area that we've had the least amount of surveys on. So I know we said it last time, but I'll say it again, like really testing those levels for us would be super helpful. Um, and, and getting those domain cards to the table um, so that we know that they all work together the way that it's supposed yeah, to. Yeah, any GMs out there that want to run, you know, a handful of one shots or a yeah. short form campaign that focuses specifically on those levels uh, if you're a group that would be fantastic yeah, it'd be so plus helpful. they're really really fun levels to play because a lot of your abilities get really crazy around that yeah. time too <laughs> so you get to really find some builds that do some crazy shit yeah I'm just nervous. I'm always so nervous. I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. That's very likely. I, I just think it's I gonna happen. That's just so cute. Oh, that's a Twitch Prime subscription. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Cinda Window. Oh my God, you guys. Hold on, my my like. Squire, thank you, bro. Oh, Squire, thanks so much. Y'all are Woo! so cool. The gang is all here tonight, you guys. I literally did start like kicking my feet. <laughs> Look, it's so, it's so. It's very fun. exciting. Very exciting. Uh, well, you guys, y'all are here for like the the little lead in part, um, but we're gonna we're getting started right now. I guess. Yes. I'm are we ready? I think. I think we're ready. All right. Well, everybody. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Steven. And we're the Faint Divinities. A channel dedicated to running and playing Daggerheart. And uh, that is the new tabletop RPG from Darrington Press and Critical Role, which is currently in open beta version 1.5. For, Very approxim exciting. for approximately two weeks. It's almost over. Mm -hmm. um, it is running through the end of July, and then the open beta is done. They're going to close their doors, as I have said, to the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory, and next year, presumably, they're going to have a new candy bar and murder all the children by inviting them to their stores. Um, mm -hmm. So if you are waiting, and I say it all the time, but it's my call to action. If you've been waiting in the wings, ready to get started, this is the time to do it. You don't have much time. It's almost all over, guys. Not to sound all doom and gloom, but that's it. Um, it is it. If this is your first time watching us live uh, here on Twitch, just as a very brief reminder, we're affiliated. This is our second week of affiliated status. So um, Very exciting. If you have an Amazon Prime, then you get a free Twitch subscription. Um, you know, maybe consider using it here. You don't have to. We're happy to have you in any way, shape, or form. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, who the hell is Kayla and Chris? Jean Screens has finished the introductions. Who the hell is Kayla and Chris? Jean Screen, okay. introduce us. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> our cast and crew tonight. Uh, we have... Kayla, and then we have Chris. I think I am gesturing. No, I did it wrong. Kayla, and then Chris. You did it. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah. Um. I. I guess as part of that, we could all do our introduction since we're all playing different things from usual tonight. Steven. So I am our DM this evening. I will be running. Uh. Hopefully a murder fest. I, I have prepared what I hope is at least 
the enough to create one to two player deaths. We'll see. I, you know, you don't ever want to kill anybody, but we haven't killed anybody yet. It's level eight. I think if we do kill somebody, kill it'd be them. a good time. It'd be a grand time. I think. Um, but let's go ahead and take off. Uh, we'll go to Rachel next. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm usually your dagger master, but tonight I am Wilhelmina for the fourth time. Um, we are doing these mid to high level sessions. At this point, we're in level eight because we wanted a tier four session, and I'm playing Wilhelmina Rowan, who is a great fairy. So she's a mixed ancestry giant and fairy modeled after the great fairies from Legend of Zelda and also Chapel Rowan, and she's a druid master of the elements, actual master of the elements because she's level eight. That's me. It's very cool, very cool. Um, and then next we'll go to Kayla. Hey everybody, I am Kayla and I'm gonna be playing Santiago tonight. Uh, he is a level eight Katari warrior, Call of the Slayer and Secret Cannibal. Secret Cannibal. <laughs> All right, and then final, we'll end with Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm playing uh, John Blackstone the Magnificent again. He's a magician guy, art of the war um, wizard. And yeah. And, and yeah, we are just yeah, yeah. all level eight at this point. It's really we um, are crazy. all level eight, and it's a lot of fun. Everyone's uh, I know uh, Rachel and Chris have gotten to play these characters, like Rachel said, four times now. So how are y'all feeling about these characters and classes and stuff? I, I would say for go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, you're good. Oh, I was saying uh, since we're at like an additional level every time. As soon as I grasp it, I start again and I don't know what I'm doing again. <laughs> it's tough doing this, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I feel nothing like that. I feel like at level seven in 1.5, this build came to life and I felt like a golden god. Um, <laughs> and it's only it's only better, you guys. The tier four beasties are sick. And I, sorry, sick. And I'm going to, and I'm gonna, I, I think... I intentionally made Wilhelmina a heavy hitter, but like not too hard to hit, um, because I think you could make a druid impossible to kill if you wanted to, honestly. She's crazy. How are you feeling, um, Kayla? Yeah, you're, so you're coming into this as like a level eight, just ready for it. Um, very and nervous. new to melee, right? Or new to mm -hmm. like a, mm -hmm, very cool. Mm -hmm. I don't embarrass myself, yes, yes. <laughs> Yay, Team Katari, said Squire. Woo! So again, Very cool. the only announcement that we have, because we're not like doing a lot tonight, is just that if you tune in for our regular streams, this is a little bit different, which you could see from these introductions. We're missing Justin. He's out of town right yeah. now. This is the wrap up of our mid to high level sessions that we were doing from levels of five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so uh, this is it. Um, I don't know that we're gonna have time to do anything beyond this, but Matt and Spencer Stark had said that they wanted some feedback from these for the open beta. And this is us doing that. So um, yeah. Um, do we want to, Stephen? There are a couple of prep items that we need to do, right? We there are a few prep items. Um, uh... So what I would like everyone to do, because we are coming into this off of a previous adventure, um, you guys had mentioned that your characters had met up and been traveling together for a little while, but the evening before, I would like everyone to roll a d6 so we can kind of see where your hope is sitting. Okay, yeah. All right, so what's this. Oh, roll well, everybody, let's go. <laughs> so everyone gets Thanks. a... a Everyone gets two just base. Oh, really? You're giving yeah, us a plus two or a yeah, plus one? W a plus, uh, plus two, because okay. you should, I think at every start of a uh, game, you're supposed to get two. So I'm sure. starting you just like that, and then you roll an addition. Fantastic. I rolled So what'd we get, guys? I rolled a three, a three so, so a total of five. Awesome. I rolled a two. Okay. I also so rolled a two. Question, All right. My question I appreciate you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so on the call of the Slayer, I do have the option to get a Slayer dice when I roll with hope. Can I make some of my hope? Oh yeah, a Slayer dice. Mm. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I would say so. That'd be fine. Yeah, I sorry because that's a feature your character would be using. Yeah. Explain it a little. Uh, explain it to me one yeah, more time. So it says on a roll with hope, which I just did. <laughs> 
You can place a D6 on this card instead of taking a hope. These are known as Slayer Dice. You can store a number of Slayer Dice equal to your proficiency. When you make an attack or a damage roll, you can spend any number of these Slayer Dice, rolling them and adding their value to your total. At the end of the session, clear any remaining Slayer Dice on this card and gain that many hope. Yeah, I think that's fine. You're adding hope to your, your thing right now. This is in session. Uh, yes. If you want to, you can give yourself two Slayer Dice or one Slayer Dice, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, like the idea mm -hmm. being that because we're launching straight into a one shot at these higher levels, since we're launching right into a one shot, um, we presumably would have been accruing hope, um, accruing fear for Steven. I assume you're going to roll some fear on your side of D6 to give yourself some more fear. Um, and then also, uh, you know, like Kayla's ability is that as she was accruing hope or he, Santiago, he could have been using those hopes and turning them into a function to ramp up the character. So yeah, I think that's fine. I meant to respond to that question, Kayla, honestly. We had a whole call, didn't we? I forgot to answer that one. Yeah. All right. Um, also, I've subscribed now because uh, I really need access to our emotes. <laughs> Just yeah. the way to get the prime out of us. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta get those emotes because now I could do Kayla with a hat. I really needed to. So. Oh, I love it. Beautiful, elegant. Okay, so the other piece, and I'm sure Stephen would lead into this, but Stephen let us all choose to take what effectively is a tier four or legendary item. Um, do y'all want to talk about what y'all chose, or is it like a secret, secret surprise moment? Mine's not a secret. Okay. I was going to say, if yeah, it's up to y'all. If y'all want to talk about it, it's fun. We can get some of these ahead so we don't have to pause in combat to be like, this is my shiny weapon. Yeah. Um, true, true. I took the blood staff because it sounded badass. Um, this one's 5d20 damage, but every time it uh, has this trait on it called painful. So... You mark a stress every time you roll damage on an attack with this weapon. So it's like big damage, but big, uh, big hurt, you know? Yeah, there's a big cost to using it. And I felt like that might be fun for a one shot in which we're trying to die. <laughs> which we're trying to <laughs> die. Yeah. What'd you take, Kayla? Uh, I took a double-sided sword. Uh, and then when making an attack roll, mark a stress to include an additional target in range. Cool. Oh, the damage is D10 plus nine. Ooh, that's good. Um, I took, and it was a little bit weird because I had, in my level up options, I took like very little to mitigate damage and stuff. I don't have a lot of armor. I have dog poop uh, evasion. So I took a legendary tower shield. Um, it has the barrier kind of feature so that's a plus six to my armor but a minus two to evasion because it was always already so bad that i was like you're hitting what me is every your time. evasion seven. Oh, yeah so you got that anora thing going on yeah Wilhelmina's is a target yeah but also i mm -hmm. go beast shape so often beast form that i was like it's probably okay um and also guys on the topic of big nakey babies which is an inside joke around here you know i it doesn't make sense to me that Wilhelmina carries a tower short sword or uh, shield <laughs> she doesn't carry a tower shield what she does is I crazily built a druid and she's become fire based. So whenever a big attack like that comes up, she pulls fire up from the ground and it's just a wave of like fire that she like steps through. Like, yeah, so that's her that's tower cool. shield. Phoenix moment. Just yes. firebender. Yeah, I, I didn't expect her to be a firebender, but yeah. So those are still items. exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Um, and then in, in fairness of uh us playing this game to try to kill somebody i was going to roll a d6 for my additional fear um i only got a one but that's okay no i feel like tonight is going to be a bad night for y'all you are going to be rolling fear all night that's the oh my god that's the hope <laughs> not ours <laughs> roll fear i hope <laughs> <laughs> um all right, so I mean, other than that, uh, I think the only like 
thing that we got to mention is that if you ha- are watching our regular stream with our regular story, we are picking that up next Monday um, with part two of the Marauders of Win. Uh, what is it? Windfall. 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 Windfall yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, get ready for tonight. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take off. Um, as the evening progresses, you guys have been traveling for a majority of the day. Um, y'all are setting up camp, kind of settling down. But as y'all are kind of settling down, uh, y'all kind of, you know, have dinner, have y'all small conversations throughout the end of the night, um, and then you uh, retire. So what does y'all's evening kind of look like as y'all are like, getting ready? Any bedtime rituals or anything like that? Um, okay, so yeah. my character, He's taken a vow of silence until his god recognize him. So he's not talking to anybody. He is finishing off some bone broth he's made. Very protective over it. Finishing it. There are small bones in it that could be rabbit bones. They could be finger bones. We're not sure. Mm. We're not sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that Wilhelmina is always really excited to try to eat the things that you have. But you don't let us eat it, right? Because No. no. Yeah. So Willamina no, probably came good. over. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't kill that rabbit. Do we know <laughs> your name? Oh, um, we'll say that he spelled that one out in the sand. Okay. He got. A, he, he went around with it. Just yeah. like Santiago is making something delicious. I can smell it. I wish that he wasn't so stingy. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, he just ignores her. He just works a little eyebrow. Keeps keeps drinking that broth. Um. So the other thing. Oh, can you describe? So they described their. We know what their characters look like. Kayla, can you describe your character for the audience? Yes. So um, he is more instead of like an anime cat boy, like they have on the picture. He's more like a Khajiit. He's like six foot five. He's big. He's burly. He's like a snow leopard. Just very typical looking. He does have like scars on one side of his neck. So from where another Khajiit scratched him. Like Elder Scrolls. Mm-hmm. Kayla's yeah, like exactly. favorite game, at least. Yeah, the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so good. So, so good. New one's coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, awesome. And then, uh, so, John, do you do anything before evening? You um, smell good broth, uh, some bone broth. Do you enjoy the smell of it, or is that more of a Wilhelmina thing? Five banana, tasty little bone broth scent. Um, I also <laughs> have like my little uh, watch that I got from Howard's Cove uh, mm. from defeating the flicker fly. And as John looks at this watch, kind of like time around him slows down. And I am like shy about looking at it, but it, to everybody else, I'm not looking at it that long. As we are, can I ask, because Chris and I have talked a lot off stream about our characters. Are we like together at this point or is it like a question mark? I would say probably, right? Okay. Level eight. It's... Then, I know. Oh I God. think so, too. I'm going to, as you're looking at the watch and time slows, I like in slow motion around you because it doesn't, I don't perceive it as slow motion, but you do as you're stretching out time. I lean over you, my nine foot fairy, and my wings kind of flicker as I put my arms around like your head and cradle you and see you looking at the picture inside. What do we, What do I see? What's the picture? The picture inside is a picture of us. Oh. And that's why I'm always kind of shy about it. Like making sure no one's looking every time I look at it. It's been like a, was it like Pulp Fiction when they opened the trunk and it's like gold? gold. You never see it in the whole movie. <laughs> you, never, you never see it at yeah. all. It, it's amazing. It's the best thing that's ever. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to kind of just tilt your like cheek to me and bury my face in your cheek a little and nuzzle and kiss you. And then I'm going to stand back up and go on to tittering about my bedtime routine where my pixies come over and like are putting my hair up in rollers and stuff you know (laughs) gotta make sure you're beautiful yeah (laughs) yeah yeah, 100 my pixies they do work you know you're gonna stay you're gonna work like (laughs) so you're gonna work um all right so y'all kind of settled down everyone kind of hits their their bed mats and as each of you drift off into sleep the moment your eyes close, they open again. And when they open, you find yourself standing in a fairly pristine white room, four walls. It is 
there's no seating, there are no tables, there's nothing else for you to see. And as you kind of like blink a little bit to kind of blink the bright light away, figures start appearing mm. around you. The three of you, as you're blinking, 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 you do recognize your current companions, um, but you also see uh, two additional, no, three additional uh, figures standing in the room. Um, if y'all look at the don't look here until after stream, um, we have Oldie, an old Dracana, Cook, a Clink, and Zorn, a Fungral. Um, all of you are kind of standing in this empty room, and there's really not anything, no no windows, no doors. Um, what do y'all do? This is like, we, we just started watching the Tower of God anime, and I'm so nervous. Okay. Um, so we're just in the room. Are we all standing together, and it's just us, and it's just so them? So essentially, as y'all are looking around, you are in a circle in the center of this room, each of you like facing in on each other, um, like a six prong star. Oh. I am going to immediately step in front of John. Okay, oh, like yeah. kind of take a little defensive step in front of him. And as Wilhelmina has gotten higher in levels, unfortunately, she's also getting a little bit more feral which mm. I think is a fun take on druids is that like as she's adapting to that she's getting a little bit more like you know and um I I'm just going to stand there and say John are you all right I'm blinking open my eyes uh <laughs> is, is that a fucking mushroom it is yeah. <laughs> And he's got, there's a, like, a very large centipede crawling around on, like, the cap of his head. Um, oh, gnarly. And then, uh, Santiago, uh, as you look across and you're, you're starting to look at these individuals, you recognize one of them. Uh, it is the older, uh, Dracana, and you, you know him, his name is Oldie. Um, he was a priest at one of the temples you passed through on your pilgrimage before you met these two. Um, and he is a priest of your god. You recognize him from a uh, Zoric temple. Okay, so my god is a famished god. And so, listen, he also worships my god, but that doesn't mean we're friends. So he's just gonna... Santiago is gonna grab his sword and kind of like step closer and we're gonna say um we've got Will Wilhelmina on one side and Santiago on the other, John in the middle, and he's just kind of shouldering John and like nodding his head over towards that one. So all right. <clears throat> so um, I look to Santiago. As y'all kind of like group up like this mm -hmm. and are like kind of like taking this almost defensive position. Um you see Cook and, and Zorn, the Fungral and the Clank, kind of step together in more of a defensive position as well. And then you see Oldie kind of take a, a, a sweet kind of intake of the room, kind of make his, his decisions of what's going on. And he says, well, since I didn't go to sleep in a room like this, I believe something has pulled us here. He looks, and then he makes eye contact with you, Santiago. Do, do I know you from somewhere? You Santiago wouldn't, because, doesn't speak, sir. He because you don't him. speak, you wouldn't have never talked to him, but he is staring at you. He definitely caught something familiar about you. Well, Amina's mm -hmm. jumping in immediately and saying, Santiago doesn't speak, so you must be mistaken, friend. <laughs> oh, I, I worship at a temple that's traveled through by many. You know of Zornik the Famished, don't you? The god of avarice and desire. I I don't know that Santiago would have ever gone into this detail. I'm just looking at you, Santiago, mm -hmm. for like Santiago is gonna nod his head. He's gonna he's gonna nod his head, but he's still got his hand on his sword. I would say the two of you, while if y'all are y'all very religious. Not at all. 
Not at all. What Us, about you, no. John? Yeah, no. he's, yeah. He's so y'all, y'all wouldn't artist. even probably recognize the name at all because y'all don't make stops in on at temples. Yeah. Um, Which is a relief, to Santiago, because that means y'all don't know. That's probably why candidates. this works. You know. Yeah, John we only know it. A- Tiny bit from Father Terrence, our yeah. buddy that we travel. With. <laughs> We're heathens, and we tuned him out all the time. Heathens. <laughs> <laughs> and if we find ourselves here, possibly we are being tested. Tested for what? Zorik chooses those with deep desires and avarice. Do you two desire something fiercely? Do you greed for what is yours? And he'll again make eye contact with Santiago. At this point, Cook, the like large clank, and he is just short of you by a few inches. He is a very large clank. And he's got pans and he's got pots and he's strapped almost like his armor is made of pots and pans. Um, from head to toe with different kinds of cooking instruments and stuff. He steps forward and he's like, I desire to be the greatest cook of them all. Um, Zorn steps forward and he's like, well, I also desire to be the fiercest hunter in my woods. He says, oh, desire is one thing, but we have to, we have to want as well. We have to grieve for what we need. I'm gonna look at John meaningfully. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, um, has yeah, our fire. love brought us here? <gasps> oh, Steven, you suck. Santiago <laughs> <laughs> um. doesn't say anything, but like his thing, like his little nostril flare, because he smells that fun girl. He smells really tasty. He definitely mm. wants to eat that fun girl. As so there, is looking at John, he's looking at the watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's off. oh my god! So y'all like, as me. as y'all are kind of standing there, and Oldie is kind of going into what he believes might be happening, y'all hear a, <clears throat> and as you turn, even though it was out of the corner of your eye, a door has appeared, and inside that door stands a uh, Katara. Um, a large tiger patterned individual. And if you look again at the do not look here, you would see soul. No, oh, Steven, what are you doing? <laughs> Just um, what I he's asked He's armored, you. <laughs> has two large uh, hammers to either side of his waist strapped there. Um, and he's leaning kind of in the doorway with his arms crossed. Mm. Mm. Zorik's pulled an interesting lot this time. Follow me. He turns and steps into this doorway. Oldie kind of like giving this, I knew I was right, kind of this is my time look upon his face, just directly behind him into the door. Ladies first, I say to their group as they like head <laughs> forward. Oh <my> God. <laughs> we'll Zork follow will second. Kinda, but he'll go in and so Cook will follow in behind. I want to look just a moment at both of you two. And like, I'm looking for a nod of like a scent from Santiago. Is this what we're doing? I mean, he nods. He's going to go. I'm going to like grab John's hand and squeeze it for a moment and then stride forward in front of John. Okay. I'm going to lead the path. I'll follow suit quick. Um, and as the last foot is stepped through when John steps his uh, final step through the doorway, um, the door vanishes. Just... And then again, a clear white wall behind you. But as you turn around this time, there are four tables set with a variety of foods laid atop. I, I mm. grab both of them and like stop them from eating. I have fey in my ancestry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you see Soul walking uh, up and kind of stopping at the, one of the side tables. Um, and then just on the other side of the table, you see a um, Black Panther Katara. Um, this is Nyx in the Do Not Look Here. Cats. Ooh, she's hot. 
She is hot. Mm, <laughs> hot. Um, and then same kind of thing. She has a large hammer, very similar to, to the first uh, guitar you've seen. Um, and at this point, they stop and turn. I am Sol, and this is Nyx. We have brought you to the first of the trials of Zoe. Choose what you are to eat and choose rightly. What if Jesus. we just, what if I we step just step around? <laughs> you say that he doesn't answer. He, at this point, he walked around to the back side of the table and they're both like on the opposite sides of the table from you guys and they're standing arms crossed just watching. Do they eat anything? Do the other, does the other part- Does the other eat? group? So you see uh, Cook, he kind of takes an interest to the food immediately. Um, and Zork's just kind of like tagging behind Cook. Um, you get the idea that they might know each other. They haven't expressed it, but they seem to have immediately grouped up kind of like you. Um, on, and they kind of start on the left-hand side tables. On the right-hand side, you see Oli make his way over there. And he is looking and kind of fingering around, like kind of grossly touching food and stuff and like moving it around. Um, And then you see him stop at a a plate. He digs around a little bit and then pulls a piece out, takes a bite. And you see Nyx and Sun kind of make eye eye contact with each other, look back at him and then nod. And then he just vanishes. Is he gone? Is gone. Well, we haven't what they had. <laughs> Does any of the food look or smell familiar? Uh, make an instinct check for me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, eyeing my cannibal friend here to see what she do- he does. Because I'm like, what are you going to eat? I will tell so, you, <laughs> I have no idea that you're a cannibal. John is a little smarter than Willow. He might like have like kind of... I heard nibbling after us scuffle once. Not me. <laughs> He's been We're real in. hungry. Okay, let's see here. So, uh, it's important. Are you, are, are you, did you? Were you going to add any experiences or anything to oh. it? Oh yeah, could I add Apex Predator? Because he would. Sh- he would be you a big melting. Could. Okay, so it's a sixteen. Sixteen. That's a cool one. What you needed was a fifteen to pass. Um, oh, yeah. So, so was that it. with uh, fear or was that oh, with hope? Oh, it's with hope. Without oh. awesome. yeah. So uh, let's just, go. Let's go. In a, yeah. Um, you kind of work your way up to the tables, and at this point, you see um, the clink and the the fungal digging around. They saw the other guy vanish, and now they're kind of like digging around trying to find a prize. Maybe you don't know. But as you hit the right side of the um, tables, and you're making your way across, everything is just what it appears until you get to a plate centered at the second right table. Um, In that plate, you catch a whiff of something that's not what the rest of it is. Something hidden in the snack tray? Can I investigate that further? Can I start digging in there? If you start digging in there and flipping through like kind of the cuts of meat that are laying in that slide You're just taking a claw and flipping things over with it so he doesn't touch it with his paw. <laughs> you find uh, about five or six slices in something that does not match the texture or cuts of the rest of the meat there. Does it smell familiar? Does it smell it's, like something he would like? It smells like something you remember from childhood. Oh my god. This is fey food. But we have to commit, guys. We got to do it. You know, we got to launch in. This is level eight. We're brave. So, huh. okay. So he's, oh. Okay, I'm scared. So he's going to bring it back on his little claw. And he's never asked y'all to eat anything, right? He's not going to ask you to eat this. But he is just going to tear like it into three parts. And he holds the two. And he's going to eat his. Does he vanish? Two more. You make a choice. Are you going to eat? He he holds his two out to y'all, and then do you eat them? Mm -hmm. So as he eats it, Santiago is gone, and the two pieces of meat to the ground. 
floor no, no, meat. No, I, I grabbed Oh, did you grab you? Pieces. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I, listen, I'm not eating floor food. <laughs> like, <laughs> then we're never remains going, is yeah. one thing. But, like, floor food? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> like, um, Santi! John? Oh, shit. I think we're gonna have to eat this. <laughs> As y'all are, like, talking to each other, you see uh, the clank reach down and grab something and put something in his mouth. And then unlike the last two, instead of from the bottom up, starts fading into ashes and floating oh away. You see his friend panic. Uh, uh, Willow, I picked the first one, not this one. I think we should probably eat it, right? If this was safe. All right. Cheers. With our... toast. We toast the little <laughs> meat, and I'm gonna like. Also, my if it's meat, if it's human meat, by the way, my little pixies are already like salivating at all of the food. I've had to like tell them to chill, you know. But we both together. Well, three, two, one, it, and yeah. That's very cute. Y'all are precious. Yeah, we're having a good and time. And almost like you blinked, you're you find yourself standing in a room with Oldie and Santiago. Okay. What's this room like? Second room. Um, so this room has um, <laughs> a secondary location. Never let me get to secondary second. location. Oh my gosh! This is actually the third location. That was Tert the secondary tertiary location. Tertiary location. <laughs> yeah. Even worse. <laughs> um, you find yourself in this room, and along the walls there are um, items, just random items, seemingly um, treasures, foods writing utensils, art pieces. Oh, no. um, I just realized what's happening. Steven is putting us through weird skill check trials. I didn't realize that was happening until just now. It's puzzles. The, I mean, like, the <laughs> meat was, like, to, to see if you found something that, like, you could eat without taking damage. Maybe we wouldn't have died, but it definitely. So now we're in the Indiana Jones Ark of the Covenant room, and we're going to have to find the cup that Jesus chose. Everybody, quick, look for the one that's wood. <laughs> um... <laughs> And after a few minutes, y'all y'all stand in this room. Oldie, he kind of laughs when he sees the two of you show up. And having not said anything to you, Santiago, as you appeared, but gave gave you that look of, I know who you are, or I know what you worship. Hi, Lissandra and Dark. Shit is happening. <laughs> um... And then you two appear, and then probably about five minutes later, um, the other, the two that Soul and Nyx appear, um, informing you that, mm. all right, this is all that's made it to the second trial. Now you choose. And just as they did before, they both step back, arms crossed, and start watching. This time, though, as they're kind of standing there, arms crossed, and y'all start looking around. Um, do y'all start looking around, or y'all? Yeah, listen, I, I think that, um, well, John, you have to explain it to Willow, because I know Rachel explained it, but like Rachel, mm -hmm. Willow, she just, <laughs> she's she's a feeling bitch, you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Willow, dear. Uh, there's a... Uh... I think we're in like a fairy tale tri trial thing right now. Also, rest in peace, Mushroom Man. He did not make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Santiago is very sad. I'll never get to eat that sweet, sweet mushroom meat. <laughs> right, keep an eye on Santiago. So, He's dialed in. So we have to choose. We have to choose something that won't harm us. Um, I. What do I see the other group? They're starting to dig through the piles of stuff. This is just a treasure trove of all So kinds this is of kind of a treasure trove. Um, as if you are looking to see what uh, Oldie's doing, I don't know, Santiago, are you doing anything yet? Have you started yeah, hunting? He's not doing anything yet. He's, he's assessing. Assessing? He's not, yeah. Okay. Um, once Oldie got confirmation of what... Uh, the two said when they came in here, you see him turn and just start perusing the shelves 
like picking items up, looking them over, dropping them, not even putting them back on the shelf, just like looking for something. Okay. Something. Uh, yeah, go ahead. go ahead, John. Yeah, go. Maybe I cast a reveal and then it can show anything hidden within this room. Ooh, Would that be applicable or? You you definitely could. Let's, let's give it a go. I like rolling. Yeah, because it's a spell um, cast roll, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just a spell cast roll here. Spellcast rolls aren't fear or hope based, right? Yes, they are. They are. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, but we're not in combat, so I mean, the most you could do is give me a fear or yeah. give yourself a hope. Give him a little treat. Yeah. Snack for later. Oh, that's a good one. That's uh, eighteen with hope. Nice. Um, so, how, explain to me how this spell looks when you cast it again. Yeah, so John Blackstone, uh, his, how he carries his spells on him, his grimoire is his body. He has tattoos all across him, and it just kind of scales down his arm and out into nerd a magician hat and just hits like a little white glare, like a flashbang kind of. Oh. Um, so as that kind of flares off... Uh, you are like looking around waiting for something to light up um you don't see any items light up but at the far end of the room you see a profile of a man of some kind of humanoid figure standing there and then he steps forward and this is where y'all would see don't look here until um bruno said bruno Bruno, and he is a large lionoid figure. Um, and when you hit his, when he's like settled over by your spell, he steps forward, revealing himself, and is snarling. He says, "We do not cheat for these trials. Find what you desire. What makes you the most greedy?" Uh, oh shit! I'm going <laughs> to snarl so I want to at him. <laughs> Oh. He's so going to very casually tug down your sleeves to cover spells. This is what? again, you very rarely have seen individuals almost as tall as you. This lion, this Bruno individual, while the other two, uh, Qatar, are normal John sized people. <laughs> so big, but like, like still big, but not, but not big. like big. Um, yeah. He is making eye contact. He is That's a it. very large I, Unnaturally so, almost. I stand just a touch taller, but in my head, I think to myself, you fool, this isn't even my final form. Because <laughs> 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 I'm a fucking druid, like beast form. Okay, all right, but I'm not doing anything right now. Um, Because this is a bullshit test, and the other people in the room, they are starting to make That's selections. Oldie, right? So, so Oli is the only other person in the room. Uh, is- the, other, the other two did not make it. God, um, fuck. Okay. So what did they is... choose? What did they pick up? Did we see like what they picked up? So you saw I'm what the dash. clank picked up, um, but the other one, you have no idea what happened to okay. him. They left before anything unfolded. I want to then. All right. So I make I, I this fucker, this guy who said we don't cheat and stuff. Like I am turning my back to him. And again, a very nature way of saying you are not a threat to me. I am ignoring him. He can have my back fucking come at me. And I am going to, because again, the thing about Wilhelmina as we have played in these games is that near the end, she gets more and more frustrated. She has zero patience. I'm going to, I would like to use my instincts because I want to see if I can feel the lore of something in the room. I love Um, it. Yes. I'm going to add unsealy on my dad's side to this because it's like trickery face shit, you know? And so that's a plus two. Okay. All right. (laughs) Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Whew, that was close. But it is a six on my hope and a five on my fear. That's 11 plus my five is 16, 17, 18. 18. With hope. 
With hope, yeah. So um, you kind of stop. You kind of breathe in deeply, scenting the air, using that like feral side of your mind. And then something catches something that's unique, something that you love. What is it? Oh, what's something that I love? Um, um, okay, I'm gonna make it really, really sappy. One night after level seven, when, jo- like, cause Wilhelmina has been in love with John since like level one when she met him and stuff. But they have, it's all of their relationship is very new. One night they were like sitting at the campfire talking and one of those conversations that you have with your someday to be partner where it's like, do they like me, you know? And you don't know, but nobody's making that first move. And I would say that uh, John took like a blade of grass while from where we were sitting and wrapped it around her finger like a ring and tied it into a ring. I'm gonna say that's sitting there on a shelf. And I find <laughs> it. So yeah, as you kind of, you follow your, your just like natural instinct to this item, um, it's something that you care about. It's something that you deeply enjoyed that moment. Um, as you reach That's out- That's beautiful. You, you better not fuck with me. If I made a beautiful thing like that, you like- <laughs> Do you touch it? Yeah. You reach out and touch it. And as you touch it, there's a sudden rush of address. This need, this want of no one could have this. This is mine. You made a solely mine. I you made, made a ring. Right? You made me sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel beyond a moment of like sanity in, your, in yourself. You have this like broken moment of if anyone tried to take this from me, what could, what would I be willing to, what wouldn't I be willing to do to prevent that? Uh huh. And it's yours. I don't disappear, though. So at this point, you disappear. <laughs> um, it, is, it is different than the last time. Rather than a, <laughs> and you're gone, you are pulled inward into that item that you are holding. <gasps> and you're gone. Oh, you you all touch that item. But as I like, as I'm disappearing, I like in that moment of like, again, you all see me go like a little bit dark fey. And then in that last moment, as I'm disappearing, I look and and you see me start to mouth the words, John, and then I'm gone. And I'll reach out for her. Gone entirely as she folded in on herself. And this is kind of terrifying for you, John, as you're watching the woman you love be sucked almost like inward into this ring until she's just poofed gone. Is the ring still there? Can he look down? Oh no! It's gone. Steven! Steven, they should all get to come with me. We all get to eat the cannibal meat. They can touch the ring. Everyone needs to make rolls to find things and y'all gotta tell me yeah. how you want to I'll, do this. Um... Panickingly start scrummaging through everything, you know, in, okay. in severe distress. And I'm going to use my knowledge to see. Uh, okay. John's like a well learned wizard, you know, ex military and stuff, and just see if there's anything I could find in this that could point me into uh, a direction. Okay. Um, so you go ahead and roll a knowledge roll for me then if you're using that trait. Um, as you like start to tear things apart and then you pause for a moment to like just recollect uh, collect yourself you have to find a way to Wilhelmina she's she's not here and you have to make sure Does you he get give an advantage since he has to find me um, he Hello? can use one of his skills if he wants to use one of his skills <laughs> All right. I'll see if I can swing my highest is uh and for my next trick, maybe as somebody okay. whose business I... is making things disappear, right? I am good at finding what is lost. And for your next trick, you are to hunt down. Go ahead. You can use that and give me a knowledge roll. This is so stressful. <laughs> Uh, 24 with fear. Oh! 24 with fear. Yeah. So you take that moment, and I'm going to take my little 
my little black ninja here, <laughs> here <laughs> John <sounds> Blackstone, <laughs> um, and uh, add that fear to my collection. Um, you take that moment, you kind of pause, and, and, and you think to yourself, what I want, what I want. I want Willow. I want Willow deeply. And you just put your hands to your chest and whoop, you see John oh. fold in on himself. He didn't even pick gone. an item. He just focused on his inner love for me. Oh, <laughs> Steven. Yeah. And I take it back. Enough. Hey, guys, in chat, we actually, this is going to be a, a role play session. I can't let these characters die. I love them. <laughs> like, objection, your honor. I Changed love my them. Mind. <laughs> Should have played cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> um, and at this point, um, it is just Oldie and Santiago. And you kind of, you've seen this happen. You look over, you see Oldie. And Oldie is kind of anxiously digging more and harder and harder and harder. Um, what are you going to do? Well, he's feeling real guilty right now. <laughs> For granted, <laughs> this. So he's kind of forlornly, like he's not anxious about it, but he's just like going through the shelves, knocking things over as cats do, just to the okay. edge, and then bam, when he doesn't want it. And he's looking for something that, I don't know, that calls to him. Okay. Um, um, are, you think you'd be just using your like instincts to try to find that? Yeah, I would still, if I can, yeah, spend 100%. a whole to do Apex Predator again. Yeah, just yeah you're just kind of pooling those scents again. You saw Willow mm -hmm. kind of reach out to that, like, more nature side of her. So, yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay. Let's see. Uh... It is a 15, but it is with fear. With fear, 15 is what you needed, though. Um, and then you got brown ninjas tonight, Kayla. I didn't have white ninjas for snow leopard, but brown was <laughs> what I got. <laughs> um, as you kind of are like going through and lazily knocking things to the side, um, you look up and at this time you see Oldie, he's, he's kind of like getting to himself a little bit and he reaches out and he says, this, this, and he grabs a cane that he sees this is it. This is what I want. Um, and the individual that was invisible before that is not now, you see, take a few key steps right behind him, reach behind, grab his head and just and ashes fall to the ground. I'm so glad I was on mute. I just screamed. <laughs> it's getting Either. real. As, <laughs> as Santiago blinks out, that's the last thing he sees in that room. So this is like as oh, Santiago's, yeah, as he was looking, looking and he looked over. As he was looking, he saw this happen. Oh. Um, and in that moment, you realize, oh, they did what they were supposed to do. What is, what's the thing that you greed for? What is the thing that Santiago wants? So we know that... Yeah. He is very greedy for the approval of his god. That's why he took this vow of silence. He's he's wanting his god to acknowledge him. So can we say that like, there's like a little coin that has like Zork's symbol on it? And he just like sees it shining like underneath a bunch of stuff. And he just like grabs it immediately. Just it's all he's ever wanted. So you're, you, you see this happen um, and you kind of think to yourself, you're like, well, I, I, I know what I need. I need to find what I need, what I want. Mm -hmm. um, and you see the glint of the edge of the coin as you reach over, you kind of push some papers that were sitting on top of it inside. And you pull it up and holding it up, you see one side that holds that, that kind of tilted scale where a lot of times you see an even scale. This mm -hmm. one you see tilted and almost like overly heavy on one side. Um, and when you flip it over, as you flip it over before you can see the other side, you hear the three Katir behind you say, good choice, and you're sucked into the coin. Oh my um, God. Lucky. This is cool. It reminds me of like the Harry Potter disapparate. So now y'all can, if Rachel, you want to show uh, them. I don't, this, Jesus. This I, next screen. I have to calm down. I'm giving myself a like stress headache. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is tense. 
so we all so I so I appeared in this room first and now we're all here what did I see so as you appeared um you and you see the ring kind of float out from you and just kind of away I'm gonna into reach a, for it but it's gone you hear a soft laughter and you see sitting towards the back of this room and everything on my body begins to flicker like I might catch fire for a second like my hair is like tendrilling out a little bit and my fingers and stuff um up the throne room fuck your throne room (laughs) where you sit you see a very large individual um, is this a, a Discord? Oh and it is in the Discord as well. <laughs> so if you go and you check out, uh, don't look here until um, you will see Zork the Famish. Oh, he's a fancy oh my God, man. You have to see my God first. He, he is <laughs> a him. fancy man. Um, he is kind of leaned back in his chair as you appear. And when you reach out to like grab for it, he leans forward. Yes. <laughs> Aim for what you want, dearest. Yell out, where is John? He's where he belongs and he will be here if he belongs. If you don't leave you him me, me, I want what I want. And what I want today is a new champion. And it leans back and doesn't make another move. A few minutes, not even a few minutes, 30 to 40 seconds later, you hear a <gasps> as John pops in next to you. I, um, okay, so like this is the the thing about us, right? I'm very giant lady. He is Big Spoon, though. Okay, so I immediately like collapse and like nestle into under his chin and stuff, but I am hunched. John. <laughs> Run around. Oh, so. my. Ooh. So glad I found it. This is uh, gonna two. Santiago. <laughs> two. Rarely do we have more than one. We're just glaring at the throne. Then just a few minutes later, you see your third Santiago appear. And Santiago, you see sitting before you a great and mighty individual. While you may have not seen him garbed this way in depictions from your village, um, the glow, the coloring, it's there. He kind of turns, he says, ooh, someone from the mountains. I have not had a champion from there in many years. But it does seem that the other did not make it. What a shame. Now that we have the three of you here and ready for what's next, why don't we proceed with our final trial? You'd see the three others, three others appear just in front of you. You have Bruno and then off flanking him to the two far uh, sides of the stairs are Sol and Nyx. When Bruno appears, he says, Rarely does anybody see me before I wanted to be seen. Now, on to my trial. And he stands, holds his hands, Aww. and you see all along the ground around you shimmering lights as individuals start popping up all around you, you would see one uniting thing among them all is that they all wear the symbol of Zorik pronounced on their chest. Um, But you see a pretty large number of people suddenly appear. 
So just a crowd of people. And thank you so much, Major Paul. You are so kind. Major Paul gifted a tier one sub to the community. Congratulations. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Do you want combat music, Steven? Yes, go ahead and get us some combat music. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so exciting. Thanks, guys. Another one. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh it's it's about to get problem. serious, you guys. <laughs> it's about to get serious. Get it. I think you tell me if you're okay with this one. Oh, well. I'm, I'm not that's... I'm not listening. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. That's I I don't want that one. That's um volatile reaction which is great but it's not it's not what i'm looking for you know what i mean oh my gosh oh my god y'all are so sweet william of dale thank you so much oh my gosh major paul what is happening major right paul now is guys just gifting people oh, subscription <laughs> after subscription exactly you are i'm trying to kill some people and y'all are making me so much happier right now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. the mood. It's so, so sweet. Thank you so much. I, I love ain't even that. scared no more. Exciting. Okay, I'm going to change um, it. Go ahead. I've changed it to Hitman because that's your username. It's the that Kevin That's my playoff. username. <laughs> Thank you and so much, Major see. Paul. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you, guys. That's awesome. I, I was focused in on moving stuff, so I wasn't paying attention. I could hear it all, and I was like, ah, but I was also... Um, but no, amazing. Thank you guys so much. That's amazing. You're bubblegum, but he's all out of bubblegum. Yeah, Major Paul oh. said I'm here to give subs and shoot bubblegum, and I'm all out of bubblegum. That's it. That's so cool. Thank you. Oh, my God. That's, that's Oh, so, crazy, oh, wow. crazy, amazing. crazy. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Major Paul. Man, somebody's getting flowers. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Sorry, Stephen. Go ahead. Kill us. You're good. So at this point, you all see a army, a small force raise around you. Um all turning and looking towards you as Bruno says, I always let what I want hit first. And kind of leans into your like space there talking directly to you, Willow. He, he, he says he always lets what he wants hit first. He wants me. I'm going to, so that fire that you had seen flickering that stopped while I was in his arms, John's arms, you see kind of blare into light a little bit. And I say, sorry, love, I'm taken. And I stand up to my full height. And if this is combat, this is fucking this combat, is combat. You motherfuckers. Like, sorry, <laughs> I will try to chill out. But like, um, yeah, like if he wants it, he can get it, you know? <laughs> like, like uh, I'm gonna. Uh, mm -hmm. the, okay. Are you stepping forward to him or? Yeah, yeah. Listen, right. because and and this is the thing about Willow is like, if there's a combat, everything shifts for her immediately. She is feral beast, and she also will always walk in front of John for a brief moment as she like steps forward like the fire dims and she looks back to John and I'm going to say oh my god I'm so worried that one of us is going to die so I'm trying to make like these moments count and everything you know um I'm going to say take care of yourself I'll see you tonight and um then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and immediately take on if this is gonna if this is going into combat, I'm becoming fire. So I okay. am a master of the elements. Druid. Is that an action to become nope. fire? I okay. mark a stress, and that is it. So, and so you see, like it is just immediately walking forward in a incredible 
fire, like actually my hands flicker first and I spread it into my hair, which takes fire. And then my whole body like pff, blares into light in front of us and I start like running at him. Um, as you like, as that happens and you start moving forward, you would see because he is a very large individual sitting uh -huh. in that throne kind of up behind him. Um, you see Zork kind of lean forward and crossing his fingers. Let's get started. Oh, fuck this guy. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just want to make sure which one is the one that's been talking shit? The one that's. He just, like, is Bruno, Bruno, the one that's like right in front of you. And what is he like, guarded in? Token? Um, Bruno is seemingly just mm -hmm. bare chested with a few leather straps. He does have kind of like uh, uh, metal bracers around his way or his wrist mm -hmm. and then kind of a heavier set like fabric around his waist. But okay. seemingly he doesn't have armor. Big Nike baby. Big Nike, Big Nike baby. baby. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I want to, can I, can I spot something in the room that I can use to, uh, that I can use to like lift out of the air as I'm running forward and telekinesis smash into him? I'm looking for something um, not too big because I don't want it to be awful to pick up. How close does it have to be to you? Uh, within far range. It doesn't have to be far. Yeah. And if there's a pillar, I would happily like grab that and poof, poof, Okay. You okay. Know? Yeah. So there is going to be a um, kind of like bus. Yeah. Sitting off to like either side of him. A big so you one have, though, right? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's not small. This isn't like a little vase or anything. I wanna, this like, room in like, yeah, I didn't really explain it because I have the map. It yeah. is trimmed in gold. Yeah. Everything is pristine, oh. like polished marble. Actually, I'm so sorry. There are a billion enemies around us, right? You have a ton of enemies around. Okay, well then maybe that's the first thing. How many of them are in close range of me, would you say? Within close range? Yeah. Probably like all of them minus four. Okay, then as I'm running towards him, I will keep running, but instead of doing that, I'll let everybody else go after this. And I'm doing my conjure swarm, my fireflies. So at this point, all of my little pixies, they all catch fire as well in their feral fireflies. I'm doing that. I'm doing the spell casserole against any close enemies. And then we're gonna murder them, okay? So okay. let's go ahead and make this attack, come on. Oh, yes. Uh, so that is going to be a 17 with big hope. 17 with hope. Does that hit any of those in close range of me? Any enemies? Um, it hits the individuals um, surrounding you. Um, it does not hit Bruno and it does not hit the two individuals. Okay, yeah, and uh, oh, okay, guys. So uh, like, Nyx or Soul. Seventeen doesn't hit those guys, okay, Chris and Kayla. So like, big hits for those. But this was a little a little test to see what I could do to these guys. So that is gonna be two d eight of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and roll that out real plus three. Oh, cool, ten. Plus three, 13 magic damage to all of those. Um, and then each one of those marks a stress because I am on fire and that's the specialization feature. Yeah. And so as you send out uh, this wave of fireflies around you, um, what you are used to just picking people off with this kind of uh, stronger ability here, the first two that are immediately to either side of you uh -huh. kind of take the brunt of it. Yeah. Um, and you do notice that the two to the either side of you, and I'm going to move those guys. Die. They die. <laughs> I've killed two of them. Murder, death, kill. Murder, death, kill. 
Death Murder Kill. Death Murder Kill. He's kill Death three Murder. Three actually die. It was Eat? three, not just two. <laughs> I killed fucking three, you guys. Did Let's it. Go. All right. Um, Patrick. Yeah. All right. That's my action, though, you guys. I did the fireflies. I'll do other stuff later. I am still mid run as my pictures so, all did that. As you do that, no. you see this group that you just hit kind of shudder and move towards you Ooh. instantly. Oh, cool. Love it. I'm in. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Real quick while I readjust these. You're actually moving them. I love this. It's very cute. Isn't it cool? <laughs> Have you ever seen? Is this Kayla's first time seeing a virtual tabletop? Maybe. Yeah. It's cool, sure. isn't I've it? Never seen it like this. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah. In, I love it. In tabletop RPG, if you see someone say VTT, VTT, it's a virtual tabletop and it's fun as hell. This is how people played. I mean, we've been doing this for a long time, but in the pandemic, this became our lives. It was our lives. Um, I mark a stress, and then uh, when a creature within melee distance damage this, damages this creature, it does not, and it does not mark at least major damage, which it didn't, uh, mark a stress to have them immediately attack against that creature. Oh God, okay, all right, cool, cool. So they all kind of shift in. Wait, all of them have that? Yeah. They're all so, attacking me? So <gasps> you, this is uh, Stephen. above table. Uh -huh. This is a this is a legion of individuals. This is not a one per right. one one stat per creature. This is all one creature. All right. Oh, shit. Um, oh okay, I see. Okay. So it's the mechanic of like they'll make a big super powered attack as a group. Got it. As a group. It's like yeah. the small minions that we've seen where they all pile together and do one mm -hmm. big hit, but this one is gonna fuck hit. me up, you guys. Oh, question um, before we go any further. Are we doing massive damage tonight, you guys? We are, or just yeah. severe? Okay. I yeah. mean that's up to y'all, I guess. I, I would say yes. Guys, massive tonight or just severe? What do you think? To you, massive doesn't really help. Uh, I, I don't know if we'll get massive, but <laughs> what if so, we so just it's... do some regular we... tonight? Um, because okay. let's test the actual mechanics of level eight. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, fair. Okay. okay. Um, does a nineteen? Hit you? Oh, oh, inc incredibly yes. Yeah, nineteen <laughs> hits me so many, so many. <laughs> Uh, 32 points of damage. Incredible. Love that. My severe is 33. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, and... But then it's back to y'all. That was a, like, a, a reaction oh. of her hitting. Also, I did have, um... Mm, well, I should have said this before. Um, I... No, I, I, because I have the armored beetles up, technically, I probably... Oh, thank you, Lissombra Dark. That's so cool. More, we one, got 10. Oh, ten. so sweet. Uh, we hit 10, you guys. Uh, <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I'm going to ignore that piece because the conjure swarm my armored beetles. Technically, I take I have resistance against the ne next damage you take, but I'm saying I always have it up. I've taken that a long time ago. Ignore. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I hope to keep them. See, uh, this is my only problem is Conjure Swarm has really changed how it functions. It I'm is. just going to take that. That's two points of health. I'm okay. That's in my major. Okay. I'm taking that. I'm not mitigating. All right. All right. Fantastic. What is that like? They're just like, ba ba ba. So yeah, like as you kind of send these fireflies out and you see these three kind of poof, 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 and drop around you and you have that moment of like, oh, I'm about to fuck these guys up you see just like them all kind of like turn gear towards you and swarm in, just kind of like slamming you as they come in, just like, boom, just all hitting you from uh, all four directions around you. Incredible. Okay, great. The, but that was, um, it's still our that turn. Was that was a reaction. It is y'all's turn. Right? That was a reaction. So y'all, yeah. yeah. And so did um, I hear that right? That if you hit them and you're in melee with them, they do a reaction hit? 
that I can do a reaction hit. I okay. have to mark a stress. Got it, got so it. So it's not necessarily oh. that it will oh, happen or trigger every time. Oh, you know what's really time. fucking cool, Stephen? I'm so sorry. Uh. I should have brought this up. Uh, because I'm on fire. <laughs> my the uh huh yeah. So at my warden of the element specialization, whenever an oh sorry, uh, which one is it? Whenever an enemy in melee range of me deals damage, they take one d10 magic damage. One so. d10. Well, it'll just it'll just be a minor. It's one d10 only. Okay, okay. Yeah, so do I even need to roll? I'll roll just anyway, just for funsies. It was a two. <laughs> two! You still got him. Yep, okay. And with that, let's see. Oh, and because whenever, when because of the specialization, uh, when an enemy marks at least one hit point, they also mark a stress, so mark a stress on it as well. Ooh. You fuck me, I fuck you. No, wait. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> nice. right so, there. What's, yeah, like, with the hangover, you try to fuck on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and as these guys like slam against you, you kind of like have that fire burst out around you, frying three more of them that were right on. Three more of them, you say? Whoa. Okay. Okay. So, um,. I'm scared, but this is my first time going with this melee character. So I have bone touched. And one of the things is once per short rest, take an action in combat without adding a token to the action tracker. Oh, nice. So I would like to do that. I would like okay. to not add. Um, God, that's so but before cool. he does that, he's going to he's gonna look at Zorik and he's just going to like bow his head and do his hand like this. Like just like, you know, because he's very honored to be here in this trial. I know it's scary for everybody else. Super excited. Fair. You see his like eyebrow yeah. raise up, and you see like his gloves. He's got like metal tips on the like sharpened oh, tips at each of his fingers, and they're just like. Mm -hmm. You really made Kayla's day with that, just so you know, Stephen. Oh yeah, little, yeah. Love a good evil mastermind perfect. moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, cat. <laughs> let's see. Um, I guess I'm gonna attack one of these dudes that's close to me. Okay. One of these minions. One of these peons. Kick his ass, um, Kayla. Okay. Oh, Get I'm him, nervous. Okay. So, <clears throat> it's D10. Y'all have to help me with this. Okay, it's D10 plus 9. But then I also have combat training. So, whenever you deal physical damage, add your level to its value. Does any of that affect me trying to hit him? No. You're going to have to say to damage. It'll be if you, if you hit. Okay. All right. So, I'm rolling the two D12s first. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and if you want to add, add anything, anything to it, like your, so you're gonna add your um, probably whatever your highest trait is. It'll be what it ends up being. So ability usually. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. and if you want to put a hope in it to use one of your experiences, you could. If you're trying to assure. I'm going to because I can do it to make an attack roll or a damage roll. I am gonna use one of my Slayer dice. Just okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. Slayer dice, um, and then. I'm gonna spend a no! hope for Apex. Okay. All right. All right. So surely, surely, Let's please go! don't appear. Let's go. All right. Oh, okay. Well, it's a twelve on the fear, but that's exciting. And then a six. So twelve. Eight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right. Wait. Twelve 21? plus the six is eighteen. And then what is your agility? Uh, plus six. Oh wow! So that's gonna be twenty-four plus what is and that then, experience? Two on Apex Predator 26? and three on the mm -hmm. uh, twenty nine to hit Jesus laser precision. You hit so <laughs> as you uh, <laughs> swing around. You bring your like big uh, double sided sword as you like are cleaving through these guys. Go ahead and roll and see how much damage. Now, wait, <laughs> before Jeez. I do that, I do want to use my sword thingy to mark a stress since it was a successful attack roll to get an additional target. Yeah, go right ahead. Right. So, I'm gonna mark a stress. Thank you okay. so much, Gene Screen! <laughs> Guys, this is so cool. We have, oh, I'm so excited. Level eight is kicking my ass. I'm gonna cry. So, mechanically, okay. what you would need to do, Kayla, is move yes. up one because move up one? there's not another enemy in your range currently. 
Can technically, I do all these people. Yeah, you can. Um, and so, technically, all these people are one enemy. Um, okay. Um, but if you moved up right here, you could attack them and Bruno. Oh my gosh! Did I hit Bruno? Um, oh yeah, you, you rolled a twenty-nine to hit. I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah, twenty-nine. <laughs> oh, okay. So cool, so, Kayla. Okay, so a D ten. So that's this dude. Uh huh. Weird guy. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. Right, so I roll um, him. Do I well, roll you, any more of them? Per your perhaps? proficiency. So like however many you have proficiency. Well, that's five. Yeah. So, so roll five d10. Okay. Well, you can also I don't roll have it five times. Many. If you want yeah, to roll it five just... times, I'll do the math for you. You just tell me what you roll. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. I got a 10. <laughs> oh nice. my god. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Kayla, <laughs> the best at dice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, that one's a nine, so not as exciting. What Still do you mean? Really good, though. Oh, I got a zero on that one. That's okay. ten. That's wait. ten. Oh wait, is, no, no, no. It was a zero zero. That's a ten. Okay, did you That's hit ones before? One. Yeah, that must it? have been it. Okay. Yeah, so That's, two ones. Sorry, one so one. one. Zero, but exciting. here's your ten. But here's one, your nine, ten, ten back. You have one more. Ten. One more. One roll. Yeah, roll one more. Okay, this one's a five. Great. Okay. That was an then, excellent round. Yeah. Uh, and then plus, plus nine. Plus it's nine. the plus nine. And then for my combat training, you add your level value. So that's eight. Oh, okay, nice. fantastic. All right, so that's 11, 21, 26, uh, 35 plus eight is 43. 43 Ooh. points of damage. You motherfucker, Kayla. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's a... That's a hit and a half. <laughs> that's a hit and a half. I'm so proud of that hit, Kayla. Like, that's a big yeah. breaking hit. Thanks. Wow. It would have been bigger if they had really been tense. Honestly, I really love that, though. Yeah, it, that is so confusing. Is that I'm like... just a girl. <laughs> I wish you never did roll a 10. You would have never known. Yeah. Would have never known. Know. Like, she did 5,000 damage. Somebody would have known when they looked back when I was showing it. They would have been like, wait a minute. And I got to tell you, nobody really looks that hard when you're showing it. We're all just freaking out. We're all like, ah. <laughs> uh, Lissandra Dark said beast mode, and it is true. It truly is. So 43, well. Steven, what you going to do about it? Well, so what what happens is um, like you take just this massive swing and as you do, you clobber, you just like take out all the, the individuals in front of you and they just like, as you've been killing these guys, they've been falling. Um, and if you take a closer look, it's just clothes, like piles of clothes everywhere there was a body. Oh. Um, and you take those two out, you take, uh, you take the four that were in front of you out, you take two that were behind you out, um, and then you clobber Bruno for a good little bit too. Um, he does not like that. Uh, one, one, one thing before it's over. I know I'm doing a lot. No, it's you good. Fear, right? <laughs> you right. fear, that wasn't right? even an action. <laughs> there, I know. So there's, I have an ability called breaking blow and I have to mark a stress, but when you make a successful attack, you may mark a stress to make the next successful attack against the same target, Bruno, do an additional 2d12 damage. So the next and it time, just says successful. So the next time you hit... The next, it's specifically me. Yeah. Then, so. then, oh, wait, wait, wait. So read it again? Yeah. Yes. It says, when you make a successful attack, you may mark a stress to make the next successful attack against the same target do additional... Plus 2d12 damage. It doesn't John. say anywhere that has to be. John, that is. is a you thing. It's time for wizard. Dude, I don't know if they messed up when no. they did that. No, 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 no. no. This, is, this is a common thing in tabletop is basically you make, you set your team up for the ante. You know, like they come in and it's like, a, it's, it's a minor tag team thing of boom. And then, poof, you know, good job, sorry, Kayla. Bruno. You're sorry, Steven. <laughs> no, that's fine. He's about that's just, to take a turn. Don't yeah, I'm about to take him. a turn because you rolled fear, right? Yes, I did. I absolutely okay. did. Yep, yep. Then, yeah, I am about to take That was the 12 turn. fear. That was the big fear. 
Ah, uh, I'll be right back. The batteries literally just died in okay. my mouse. That's okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, this is a good time to talk about mechanics, group. guys. If because we'll probably have a lot of people joining the level eight on YouTube for the first time. If you haven't played Daggerheart yet, remember we don't have an initiative order here. People jump in when they want to. The mechanic is that if someone rolls with fear, which means they're fear die. In my case, I have a green hope die and a pink. Green fear die and a pink hope die. If you roll higher on that fear die, the GM immediately gets to jump in next. Um, it also happens on a on a uh, instead of a success, a failure. By the way, it's not just. Fear. I would though. I would like to ask. Yeah. I guess it probably does count. But if it didn't add action to the action tracker, should the fear count? Well, you're you did an attack right the attack that that's what used that, the fear okay. yeah 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 um I yeah the, the, so if she took an attack he would get an action and a fear token uh, he just didn't get an action token oh, right oh okay Wait, what? I got you. What was the question? Uh, because it's an act. Anything that's an action, right? The GM gets a, a action token. Yes, absolutely. So she used an ability where it doesn't count as an action, oh, but she rolled a fear. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, exactly. Okay. So that he still gets that one. That makes sense. Yeah. So he gets two currencies okay. per turn, essentially. Two yeah. If you roll. One hundred percent. If you I roll with it. fear, plus the fear, he doesn't actually get to take. The way that the fear works is you either take it and add it to your pile or you immediately use it to, to jump into combat. So fear is like their currency. He could have been like, no, nah, you guys keep going, but I'm gonna collect a fear. I've done that with no, you guys. No, y'all have killed half of my monsters. Uh, you killed half of one of the forces. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like, I'm not even- He's like, I'm going in. And I'm only a little on fire, you know? But yeah lovely action tracker anytime someone does something that is an action in this game the gm gets an action token and that when it is their round of attacks they use that to channel their stuff damn this manicure i set down my coin and i can't get it up <laughs> so, I'm dead. I'm, oh no <laughs> oh it's so i just follow her around all day opening stuff <laughs> You gotta open all the cans. Yeah. You can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> like women. Baby bird. But yeah, so like, I don't know how many he has at this point. I think only two. Oh, wow. oh, fear. Oh, oh my God. Anonymous. An anonymous Mysterious. gifter. Thank you so oh. much. That's so kind. And now Cindo Window, you can use our emotes in chat. I don't know if anybody knows. We have stupid emotes of our faces. If you're a subscriber, you get to use them. <laughs> oh my God, look. They're all in there. Great, great responsibility. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, I use my fear. Something else happens because you rolled with fear. Um, I'm gonna use that fear to uh, go ahead and switch over to my turn in combat. Mm -hmm. um, but because you rolled a fear and you're within very close range of um, Bruno, I gain an additional fear. Oh, um, so I don't took my turn, that, gained my turn. I'm gonna use that fear to trade in for two action tokens. Yes, absolutely, you are. But cheater. Um, yeah, cheater, <laughs> cheater, 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 pumpkin eater. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna waller on you guys real quick. Oh, so we're southern again, wallering, are we? Oh, well, <laughs> <not wallering. laughs> um, I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> just means like, it, oh, no, it yeah. a lot is what it means <laughs> city boy not us city boy. <laughs> <laughs> Cut your girls. um does a 15 hit willow oh yeah listen <laughs> every damn time it do every damn time so the zombies all surge in um and they're going to uh whack on you I don't like that. <laughs> whack on you, Willow. Don't let them whack on me. <laughs> whack on whack, they're, whacking, they're whacking right on you. Uh, it's hot being on fire. That's going to be 16 points common. of damage. 16 points of damage, huh? Okay, well now mm -hmm. this, because my major damage threshold is a 14, this is a perfect... Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, Just to be clear, they did... Ha I have resistance, right? How does okay. I need to look at that real quick? Um, I forget, I forget how resistance works. Um, 
because I, this is again, Conjure Swarm is a little bit new, guys, uh, in terms of the change to it. So give me just a second. Like, it has damage every time I've seen it, yeah, like MC Cat said. Oh, it yeah, has damage? Okay, they have great. damage. Yeah, because I, I know, like, vulnerable, right, it gives advantage on the stuff. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so half damage then uh, is what, is, so then that does what to me? Uh, 16 half to 8. To eight, and I'm going to uh -huh. mark an armor and take no damage. As no, 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 I like taking damage. I like taking damage. Um, so oh, no. I will, damage. yeah, I'm a little bit, you know, she's a little bit feisty. <laughs> Thanks, Velocidad. Thank you, MC Cat. I really appreciate it. Okay, half damage rounded up. So I'm going to take one point of damage because that's in my minor. And the reason that I really like to get hit is because you're about to get hit back, you know. Um, so you dealt damage. Anything that was in melee range of me and de dealt damage is you're taking that that D10 again. That's a nine uh, plus mark of stress. Everybody who hit me, I love it. All getting right. This is a build of like, oh, well, uh, the sorry. I loved it. I didn't, I didn't mean that. I just like, that's this. Came forward into the camera. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like this build is made to like, that's why I was like, take my evasion away. Hit me because anytime you do, you, I gotta stop saying it. I'm gonna stop saying it. Does a 16 <laughs> hit you, John? Yeah. Uh, misses. <laughs> misses. Actually, it's an 18, 16 plus two. Still misses. Okay, cool, cool, oh. cool. Good to know, good to know. Um, as that force comes in, they kind of like try to slam into you and you just like kind of, they all hit each other instead of you. Um, above, above Tangle Chalk, what's your evasion? Uh, what's it at? He's at a, a fat 20 while I have at least 20. two hope. That's part of the yeah. drawback. Steven, can we talk cool. real quick? Our new players just said above table and they talked of, about like a meta oh. above. That is so fucking cute, you guys. I'm so happy. We adapted quick. I was here. even like, oh, yeah. what a professional. Y'all are good. Y'all are so good. Okay. All right. And then um, last one that I'm going to do is a swing at uh, Santiago. Uh oh. Um, does a 16 hit you? My evasion is 17. Miss you too. Whole lot of whole lot of whiffs here, guys. Whole lot of whiffs here. Fast as um, fuck boy. Fast as fuck boy. Fast as fuck you guys, buddy. I don't think you're gonna kill anybody. <laughs> I don't think I am gonna kill anybody at this point. Um, yeah, uh, that is all. Oh God, you know. Yeah, well, you know, we'll see. Uh, Y'all still have a second. Y'all have killed Thank my weakest it. enemy so far, and haven't even killed him entirely. Um, oh my god! <laughs> All right, now listen. Easy. For a second, he was like, "But listen, okay." Uh, but it is y'all's turn. It is y'all's turn. It is y'all's turn. Okay. 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 John, get in there. <laughs> I am gonna kill two of my ho or two of my fear though. And change those it. fear and some action tokens. Need four action tokens. You need four uh -huh. action tokens. Jeez. Okay. Congrats. I'm just getting prepared for my next turn. Great. Incredible. Um, listen. Yeah, John, you haven't done anything yet. Kick the ass. Yeah. I remember Bruno's vulnerable. Bruno oh, is yeah. vulnerable. Or then, it's, um, it's not vulnerable. You just are going to do 2d12 extra damage. If you yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I was about to say, I don't think Bruno is different. vulnerable. No, Where did y'all get that from? Um, like, excuse me? <laughs> the crowd around you is vulnerable. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, I did have a question because I did uh, earlier in this fight when it first started. I saw eight of them lined up. If I wall of fire these bad boys, do they take eight instances of damage, or are they? It's it's one, one creature, so it's it's one instance of damage. Got it. Got, I got it. Got it. That's why I like told Kayla that she would need to move forward to like actually be able to target two separate creatures. That made sense. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. All right. In that case. I, I'm gonna try out uh, dust off this uh, this new spell I got. It's shiny. Ooh, uh, let's let's see what you can do. Yeah, I don't know what so, you can do. Cast spell against any enemies in front of you within far range. So that would count Bruno, and then maybe I could hit um, that God. golden cat in the back, right? Wait, uh, what are you doing, Garvey? Wait a minute. All John right. Is. <laughs> Wait, are you really? Well, there's uh, three cats fighting us, right? 
There, there's the uh, god is sitting in the throne so far. Yeah, he hasn't. The god is further back here. Let me show you. Real Kayla, quick, so. no, no, no. I Kayla, know what Don Tiago's gonna do if you no, start attacking? Kayla, his Kayla, toggle, toggle. Remember, the thing is, is that like he's brought us here to a fight. Surely he wants us to prove our strength, right? Oh, well, not again. Him. Well, I was, um... Did he say that? Kayla, oh, yeah. so, if, if, sure if we can take your right god okay. out, is he worthy of worship? Or are we the gods? Well, there's, I mean, uh... He's been his whole life devoted to him, so are you trying to give him, like, a religious breakdown right now? I didn't mean that guy, though. I okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I didn't want to do that to, uh... Talking about Thiago this break guy? his heart in the heat of battle. Yeah, just to make no. sure I'm seeing this straight, right? Like there's those guys with magic. two cats on the side, Bruno so in the middle. Got, we got Nyx here, we got Soul right. here, and then we have Bruno right in front of Boone. Okay, and those are all enemies, right? Combatant. Those are all enemies. Um, they've all started moving forward to fight you, and then you have all the green guys that are surrounding you. Okay, okay. What's this spell then... called? Uh, the spell's called uh, Stunning Sunlight. I think it works kind of like Sunbeam for D&D, &D, like in Baldur's awesome. Gate. Yeah. 100%. And um, so you spend, for each hope you spend, you can hit an additional person. So I'm going to spend two hope, and I'm going to hit two guys. I'll go for Bruno, and then, um, you know, I'll go for, like, the, the Legion of Enemies. So I'll hit those okay. two guys. And I will use this other spell I got called Codex Touch. So you can always mark a stress. To add your proficiency to a spell cast roll. So I'll mark um, that guy. Okay, yeah. I got a, a 29 with hope. 29 with hope, we'll hit both. That one hit hard. Yeah. Wow, a 29 with hope? Yeah. That's incredible. And so, um, second part of this. Uh, each person I hit has to do a reaction roll. And so when it says like the number in parentheses next to the reaction, that's, that's the dynamite to beat, right? Yep. Yeah. So you roll for a 14. 14. Okay. The Legion misses. Bruno misses. Oh, All right. Okay. So nine and a 10. Nine and, a and then 10, I'll huh? read the whole spell out, I guess, so everyone can see this and help me with it. Yeah. Um, mm. So you make a spell cast roll against any enemies in front of you within far range. Mm -hmm. As you unleash powerful rays of burning sunlight, you spend a hope for each enemy you succeed against that you want to affect, and then they make the reaction roll. So then on a success, they take 4d20 plus 5 magic damage. Mm. On a failure, they take 4d20 plus 5 magic damage and are stunned, keeping them from acting until the condition is cleared. Nice, oh. nice. And don't forget the 2d12. And the 2d12. Mm -hmm. Bruno. So 4d20 plus 5 hits everyone. So you can yeah. go ahead and oh, yeah, roll yeah. that out so that we know what damage everyone is taking. And then we can add the 2d12 for Bruno. So 4d20 plus 5. So 43, and then we add the 2d12. Uh -huh. So we roll for that. 53 damage. So 43 to everyone except for Bruno, who takes 53. Uh, it's 53 to both of them, right? Oh, just Bruno. You're right. Bruno. You're right. Yeah, gotcha, Bruno gotcha. had to like. I was the only one I did my thing on. The bra 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 thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you do take out quite a few people. Good job. That was incredible. Oh. That was that what was I amazing. wanted. Was the big mamma jamma hit. Mm -hmm. My eyes lit up when I saw that spell. I was like, finally. Ah, <laughs> that's what I want from Fireball, by the way. And that's the communication yeah. that I've given to Darrington is that let's make that one wail. You know, it's a beloved spell. All right. Ooh, so, guys, um, so few. I know. You, you cleared a lot. Um, I am going to mark a stress. <laughs> And use that reaction that I used on Lamina on John. Uh, so the people, uh -huh. yeah. Whenever the he... stunned, aren't they? yeah. Which ones are stunned is a good question. Oh, that They're is a good stunned, yeah. Each, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's a temporary oh, condition on each I'm one of those. So you would have to use a fear to go ahead and clear that He's stun. So that that can nah, bro. Smack it back. <laughs> um, Incredible. Use that fear. 
This get is why I hit you with it because you have such a high evasion. A 19, does a 19 hit you? My evasion's uh 20. I kept <laughs> on to the two hope. Son oh, of a nice. bitch. Oh, oh wait, I have advantage. I have okay. advantage. Oh, okay. He is gonna roll again. So I will uh, advantage is just the extra d6 for me as well, correct? Yeah, yep. Actually, Fortunately yeah. for you, my legion is, huh? Keep going, keep going. I'm okay. picking up advantage real quick because for the GM it might be different. Okay. The loss of dad yeah. helped us way by the uh, as well. Like uh, if an NPC has advantage, roll an extra d20 and take the highest result. Yep. The okay. GM okay. die is okay. different from the player it's, die. Is different from the player die. Yep, absolutely. Well, now we know. Oh, thank you, guys. And MC Cat got it right at the same time. I y'all are doing oh the Lord's work in chat. The I, Lord's work. Thank you guys so um, much. My uh, legion is more than half its size at this point, so it does very little damage comparatively than it did when it was uh, full. Shout out to Wilhelmina. Yeah. <laughs> I big, I babe, I boo boo boo. Um, <laughs> um, then it'll be 18 points of damage to you. All right. And then I'm gonna use my second to last fear here to unstun Bruno as well, because I can't have that. Um, and then I use an action token to activate his reaction. Uh, when another adversary damages a target within very close range, um, remove an action token and have this creature uh, add their great weapon attack to that as well. Great weapon attack. Hmm? Great weapon master you are. Uh, hmm. He's got the, you see that his great weapons are his mighty claws that he has. Just hands full of angry claws. Bruno coming uh, up to hit me. Bruno is coming up to hit you. Is that sparking opportunity attack on the warrior? Oh yeah, oh, I, was, I was gonna ask that like where, cause I attacked Bruno, right? And so he uh -huh. was near me, is he leaving my range? He's leaving a melee coming? range right now. He is? Um, we gotta no, speak for our silent good. friend. Oh, Actually, call. he doesn't need to because it's very close range. Shout out, Chris. Shout out, Kayla. That, like, understanding opportunity attack so early. No, nope. wow. Chris. He was like, excuse me. He's bringing that <laughs> That's warrior knowledge. Saying. I don't mean to interject it's, a lot. It's, but. it's good to ask. Um, a 21 hits you, correct? Uh, yep. Um... And you, yeah, you you blast these guys out with your like the sun rays. How does that look, by the way? Ooh, sunbeam. Yeah. Well, how, how does your your spell look when you cast that? Sun. Yeah, I'd light. say with uh, yeah, keep it with this magician thing and his tattoo spells on him. Um, spell of like letters comes off his neck and drips out into a giant light bulb, oh and gosh. a light bulb just blasts. Then with like yeah some some beam rays. Whoa! Uh, wow! So yeah, cool. you blast out with these sunbeam rays and you oh. blast away these individuals in front of you. And as they like blast away, as before, their bodies just evaporate and the clothes just kind of land to the ground. Um, and then uh, Bruno, having taken this brunt, laughs, grabs uh, his like long arms and as i said before this guy is as big as wilhelmina um and kind of like twirls around and comes down with a claw just across the front of you um of uh, uh, john of john oh no oh no uh, you're baby oh. <laughs> Oh, no. You're That's my man. Hold my earrings, which is uh, one of my experiences. <laughs> uh, 34 points of damage awesome as he tubing. breaks these claws down your chest. Uh, and so the 18 before and the 34 now are two separate instances? Two separate instances. Okay. Two separate 34. attacks. Have you we already taken any of that? Oh, yeah, so 18 hit me for two health points. And then so 34... Let's see you one sec. Okay. <laughs> Puny Steven. Okay, like. <laughs> <laughs> I will use three armor slots 
and then that will take it down to my major special. So that'll hit me for two more health points. Okay. So you're at four, right? Four in total, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and that was all the both of those reactions. Um, so it is still y'all's turn. You rolled with hope, right, Chris? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So back to y'all. Okay. So seeing that, if y'all are okay, I would like to take a turn to heal us a little bit. So I immediately am going to cast the spell that I took at eighth level that I'm very excited about. So yeah. yeah so seeing that, I like <sighs> like scream and everything, and like pull myself in and then release at a giant like dome of like f on fire like lilies crescendo around us and i cast rejuvenation barrier so i really hope that this works i am going to be able to get uh advantage on this because no, 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 that's, 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 hold on. Let me just make sure, I think I get advantage from some, actually, no, that's beast form stuff. Okay, I am going to add um, my fourth experience, which is heart on fire, hot to go, H-O-T-T-O-G-O. <laughs> Playing in my head all day today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm adding hot to go, which also hard on fire because I'm just in love um, to it. And it's a spell cast roll 15. So that's the first piece of this. Ooh. Oh, baby. That's an O. Oh. Well, it is an eight on the fear, um, but a seven on the hope. So it is 15 by itself. Plus Red ninja. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're yeah. like fire. Oh, because I'm on fire. Excellent. Uh -huh. Plus five is a 20. <laughs> plus my two from Heart on Fire is a 22. It works. So um, that is, again, that bulbs out. And um, on that, on a success, once per short rest, you can create a temporary barrier of protective energy around you. You and all the allies within very close range of you when it is first cast heal 1d4 so i have to roll a d4 and see how that goes first roll a one four, four, i rolled four, a two four. i rolled a two i rolled a two so in between z's you know in between z's so if <laughs> i don't think that kayla you santiago has any health marked yet but both me and chris get to remove two health from our things and so this is important this is a temporary condition while this barrier is up because it's around us. Uh, and also if I wasn't in very close range, I would move towards to get into, I, I think we're all in very close, right? On the map, Steven, or do I? Yes, need, yeah. Okay. Bruno hit me from very close right in front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're all in very close. As long okay. as you stay here within me, w uh, within me, <laughs> beside me, guys, <laughs> while this barrier is up, you and all allies have resistance to physical damage. Um, and oh, it follows sick. me as I move. Okay. It's good to know. Good so to know, there good is know. right now <laughs> this dome of like lilies that are on fire, blooming, decaying, and burning into ash. Blooming, decaying, and burning into ash all around How us. How long does this last? That's, until it's a temporary he's, condition. Uh, until he spends a fear to end it. You um, see uh, Zorik on his throne kind of lift an eyebrow and laugh a little bit. Like I said, he's mine. I don't know, like... Mm -hmm. Mm. First, I always need to spend an action um, here, so you can't clear a condition and then take a reaction. Ooh. Oh, oh good to know. Thanks Thank for that, you, Velocidad. Velocidad. Yeah. Don't yeah. hate to be technical. No, Give don't hate to be technical. No, yeah, yeah. We love Shit's it. hard. That's what we're here for. about everything, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna read that because again, this stuff is helpful for. I've gotten like messages from people who are like, "This stuff." When I watch your YouTube, it's the reason I watch. It helps me. Velocidad resident, uh, yeah, Provo awesome. House Rules lawyer, MC Cat, and Velocidad. <laughs> They help us out. <laughs> Says, hate to be technical, again, don't. Um, but for the next temporary condition, adversaries need to spend an action to clear it. So you can't clear a condition and then take a reaction because it is an action on itself. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Of its own. That's incredible in combat. And William of Dale yeah. live beta testing. And Major Paul with your thousand bits. Major Paul is both of our little oh. names. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, it is really just vibe. Friends playing on a Monday evening constructive chat. It's just vibes. Okay. It's very yeah. vibes. Yeah. Um, good times. Good times. Okay. Sorry for uh, that. Was great feedback. And I went ahead and this is up. That's my action. I don't know if Steven's jumping in or if you guys. Are um, I I am gonna go ahead and take that hope that you gave me and just it right back into my pile so I can slide in. Um, that fear. Just to clarify, fear. Oh, fear, 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 yeah. I love hope because, you know, I'm a player, so I'm used to used to hope. Mm-hmm. Oh, the turntables. Oh, the mm-hmm. turntables. Oh, the turns have tables. Um, all right, so... <laughs> we're gonna do some, some well-rounded smacking. Um... Well-rounded smacking. That's Steven. what he said. Stop whacking and well, smacking well, yeah. us. We ain't having it. Smacking and whacking. Um, Shmack. <laughs> all right. So Bruno uh, kind of smears at you in front of him, Willow. And he says, "Yeah, you, I'm the thing to hit." Here we are, Give aren't me, we? Baby, one more time. <laughs> Ooh, natural twenty. Um, <laughs> Ooh. I'm, I'm gonna. This is gonna hurt you. I'm so sorry. It's gonna hurt me. You said. It's, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Takira, armored beetles. I have resistance. Okay. So I'll take half. It's good to know. Take is resistance damage. stack? <laughs> nope. Nope. Nothing no. sacks. That's a good tabletop okay. question. Nothing that is a good sacks. one. Nothing stacks. Okay. Well, Do my math real true, quick. But... <laughs> horses stack on top of horses. Is that how that stacks? goes? Yeah, they stack. They are far mm-hmm. down. I don't cute. believe I haven't even needed to turn into a unicorn yet. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> 71 points of damage before it's halved. So you have that down to 35. Hmm. Oh, you know what's so fun about that? Man, okay, first of all, thank you, my little pixies who are just like swarming around me and bursting into pops of light are the thing that causes me to have that resistance. I am going to... Yeah, so as Bruno kind of swings, he like handful of pixies just tears them and flings them to the ground behind him Uh as he's like trying to dig through them to get to you just like little screaming pixies as you're doing that um and just because so that is going that would be in my severe um i am going to mark a hope to keep those pixies and more just come out of my hair and stuff and surround (laughs) because they just keep coming um nice in my hair pixies in my hair yeah but also i'm going to go ahead and use one armor slot to mark that to take it into major for me instead um yes i'm gonna use 34 you said 34 uh, 35. 35. 70. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to make it major and remember that I have a big naked baby tower shield. So in that moment, as that's happening, I, a firewall in front of me that goes up in a black plume of smoke and like, I know I don't move, but I step forward through it just like a shadowy outline of a woman on fire. And that's so, one thing, yeah. As, as that's happening, like I said, he's kind of like taking his claws and like tearing through the fairies. They start kind of coming back, you're, you know, pulling out of your hair. You have that fire shield go up and you kind of like step forward like you normally do. And at this point is when you he's take the hit. two raking claws down your chest. It's the second attack, guys. <sighs> yeah, on your oh, no, 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 no. It was that yeah. first oh. attack, but this is like the thematics of how he you. actually- Oh, I love it, too. I love it. Oh. Yeah, and crumple yeah, a little bit and glare it. up at him. Um, and then next you have uh, Soul and Nyx have finally made it into attack positions. I love that, by um, the way, Steven, Sun and, and yeah. Dark, so cute, yeah. like the moon, <laughs> beautiful, so cute. Um, so I am going to attack John first. A 15 won't hit John, right? All right. Oh, this is. That man's yeah, incredible. Like that. It is incredible. Uh, Ooh, how about a 23 to hit Santiago? You got me. Okay. 
<laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> I love that little piece of the music when it's like, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, it's like... I was just thinking about like a silent cat is such a cool aesthetic. It is. It's like very puss in boots energy. You know what I mean? Like in Shrek when he's in the corner table, like Strider. Also just very cat energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like Starfire, especially. Yeah. yeah. People are like, what? how do you know him? And we're like, uh, we don't know. Just, does he like you? We don't know. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> He's around. Um, <laughs> and as Nick swings with her hammer and hits you, um, you feel a tug at your coin purse and you lose a handful of gold as the gold starts flinging and attaching itself to the end of her Why big you hammer told us that to she take has. Gold? No, no, no. Is that, what's happening? Oh, God. Guys, that's bad. Um, so you know how in Baldur's Gate there was that thing that it, it the more money involved, the more sure. it hit. I saw I think, as we were yeah. picking out our legendary items, there's a thing that there's money involved, and I'm a little, I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Who was that? That was Nyx. That was Nyx that, that got garnered the, the killer. Money? Killer. What? Killer. <laughs> Mooncat. <laughs> I like. What's the what's the damage here? What's happening? Um, so you take twenty points of damage as uh, she swings that hammer. Uh, resistance from my from my thingy. From my, remember, mm. you're inside of my oh, barrier oh. of lilies. That is good so to to point out. Yeah. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's put me down to ten. Mm -hmm. Ten ten oh. damage that you're taking. Okay, I'm gonna use two armor because my armor is at five so that makes it zero but i have fortified wait it's not fortified armor which one is it hold on let me find it let me find it oh wait yeah it is fortified armor once per short rest you may use an armor slot without actually marking it so i'm just using one wow amazing it's amazing super wise to use that right away because you will yeah. forget <laughs> i'm so sorry so I'm just to make one. sure and that means I take zero. Oh, you want me to read it out loud? No, 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 not that. Just to make sure, Steven, I assume because of the kind of attack, it was physical damage, yes? It is physical okay, damage. Great. Because it only works on physical damage. So yes, that's good. That's great, Kayla. Fantastic. Okay, so the armor took the brunt of it. Uh, we're going to say he used his claw, the one that we didn't mark, to just kind of fling and then <laughs> fling. a little bit on his armor. But he's yeah. good. So like, yeah, as the the hammer goes, it kind of like slides past you, kind of like ro rolling off your armor, but you still mm -hmm. feel that from your coin purse of those coins hitting the end of her hammer. I don't like that, Nyx. <laughs> uh, she smiles at you. <laughs> uh, oh, no, uh, she's but, hot. Uh, <laughs> she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then with my... You still going? Get out of here! I got one left. I'm gonna use that I'm as y'all uh, <laughs> see Zornik sitting in the back Pops. laugh again. And he says, let's not make this too easy on you. And he ends your effect. My lilies all like wither and fall. Just, just like oh. float down to ash around me. I look around and I... I'm like, yeah. It is Santiago, a trial like, you know all. what? Uh, yeah, exactly. I have a chance to prove myself yeah. now. So he's that's good. He's so good you spent it. a fear to that again, guys. We're doing a lot of stuff that's eating his fear. Yeah, y'all. I've got uh, a single fear right now. One fear. One Love fear. That. Love it. One fear. Love and it's y'all's turn. I'm, I'm all out of action tokens. Um, so y'all go back at it. Okay. Okay. I know in my heart, whatever I roll, I will give him a fear. So if anybody else wants to go before me. Well, suggestions. Is there anything that people need to do that's not going to take any action? So healing potions, you know, things like that that y'all need to do. Healing isn't an action? I know it's not a roll. It's but an action. It I'm not? so sorry. It's okay. not a roll. It is an action. Absolutely. Doesn't get fear. Not a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like, fine. As long as I get action points. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. I'm okay, but you know, like I might pop a potion, but I'm I'm okay right now. I feel like, but I'm worried that there's a big thing coming. You know. Okay. So like anything anybody wants to do, do do either of y'all need potions? I, mean, I don't. Okay. Not yet. Like. Is it okay? I kind of sit on my potions potion? until I'm at four health. Yeah. That way, you know what I mean. If I roll four, I'm not wasting it. I see. 
see what you mean. That's a good point. Okay, all right. Taking battle strategy. Remember, In guys, I'm move. vibes, not mechanics. So I'm gonna take that note. <laughs> good, good note. Okay. I do have a fat banish I'm sitting on, but um, I don't. As you said, yeah, like there might be a golden gilded god uh, coming down from the skies right now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, what do y'all want to do, guys? Like, I'm. I'm. I mean. Should we attack the lady that's taking gold out yes, of our purses? Yes, we should know. attack that bitch. Um, mm -hmm. She stole from you, Kayla. Do you want to attack? I can do that. Hold on just one second really quick. Yeah, you we're good. Too. Okay. Um, okay. This one and this one. Okay. So, I'm nervous. Okay. Oh, don't be um, nervous. You I'm can gonna, do it. I'm going to take um, one of my Slayer dice to add to this roll to see if it'll hit. So, I'm going to add a six to that. I'm not going to add any experiences because I want to keep that last hope in case I need it. Oh. Incredible. Did that. Okay. Okay. Oh. I believe in you. Okay, it was it was with hope, oh, but it's a ten. Okay. Oh. It does not hit. Tim does no. not. Uh, oh, 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 no, no, no. Wait, no. I'll save that no. for later. My I didn't hit him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. That's okay. I That's knew that was going to happen that way. What were you so trying to hit with? Thoughts? No, my just my double sided sword. Oh, so like, yeah, Stephen, how does it look when she? Yeah. Like, so yeah, you you like bring your sword like around to like do like a, a downward like strike on her, um, and unlike. Soul Nyx has a big old shield, and she just raises oh. that shield up and just takes the brunt of it and slides your hair, uh, sword away. Mm. Tiago's just like panicking inside. Oh my gosh, she's hot. Listen, <laughs> I ain't greedy. I'll let you go again if you want to. Or, st but also, Chris, if you have something you want to jump in with, go ahead. You know. Hey, uh, if you want to run it back, I'll never. You know what I mean. No, no, because play. I'm scared that I'm going to embarrass myself again. Well, Go on. What if, what, <laughs> if I, what if I, like, um, I could help you? Um, I could spend a hope to help you, and then you get a D6 added to it, plus mm -hmm. your Slayer die, you know? Like, you want to do that? Yeah, and I'll say, uh, I'm going to say, um... You've been traveling with us, Santiago. If you don't help us against this fight, I'm going to kick your ass when we get home. Oh, and that's going to be... I'm using hold my earrings for that. And I'm marking a hope. Beautiful. This one misses, we give Santiago the silent treatment. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, critical! It is. Yes! Hold on. Let's go. Five. <laughs> Listen, five. turns out we all like Dobby Mommies. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> okay. Very exciting. I wasted my Slayer die though, because I did mark that. Okay, but that's it's okay. Okay. Oh. okay. Um. So Rachel, you gotta help me again, and okay. I'm so, gonna tell you the actual number. I'm oh, wait. ready. You gotta pick her up. Hold on. That's it. Uh. So how many dice? It's uh five d. Yeah. Yes. Right? It's five d ten plus so nine plus my combat training. Whenever you deal physical damage, you add your level to its value. So Which it's is eight. Yes. Yeah. So it's D10 plus 8. 67. So it's 67 and then and then roll your now roll your five dice and we'll add that to the 67. Okay. Wait, how is it 67? It's 5d10 and yeah, she Yeah, but she hasn't rolled those. Oh, you're I'm so sorry. What happened? That's so cool because remember Kayla, the way that a critical works is you start with the max value as if you had rolled the maximum on everything and now you get to roll the 5d10 on top of that. So, so essentially horrible. you start with I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. 67 this is, this is... is my favorite number. That's so oh, sexy. H O T T O T F. I mean, okay. fortunately for me, at the beginning of the game, y'all said no massive damage. Yes. So. so this is yeah. just for flavor at this point. Major <laughs> yeah. positive. Let's go, Kayla, and earn yeah. your new badge. Ooh. By the way, thank you. Okay, so Kayla. Also, um, get a hope. Mark a stress off. 
Yeah. Oh, that's part true. Of a yeah. Thank you. Good job. Oh my I God, you guys. We are yeah. a well oiled machine. Now, Kayla, you still get to roll those five D ten. So go ahead and do that. Well, the first one was a three. We're starting okay. out strong. Great. That brings us to seventy already. I got a zero zero. So that's, that's a either a zero or that's a ten. Another ten. That's eighty. I got uh, a one. Eighty one. Notoriously a seven. Great. This is the last one. An eight. Okay. 96 points of damage. Then, I would wow. like to say, because it does not say I can't use it again, I would like to mark a stress to do my breaking blow again. Yes! What does the breaking blow do? The next attack <laughs> to be 12 extra. Ah, attack, beautiful, you beautiful, may mark beautiful. a stress to make the next successful attack against the same target do an additional 2d12. Kayla, you're That's a awesome. warrior? Call of the yeah. Slayer? Yeah. Dang! Oh, Call of the Slayer hit! 90 for 96 sure. points of damage. Kayla, crazy. that's the biggest hit I've ever seen. Like, I'm um, having fun. Yeah, you're having fun. Is it mainly fun? But also, I'm remember, scared. I'm glad y'all are here to help me with them back. You're doing great. You can. I, I'll, I'll always help like that. Also, though, remember, uh, Stephen, that it, it, because it marked at least a hit point, they mark a stress as well. <laughs> I'm still on fire. Okay. <laughs> Stephen, okay. Woo! Okay. Incredible. Wow. 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 Wow, 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 but wow, I did wow. give him two actions because I failed the first yeah, time. Yeah, but it's a but, hope, yeah. so, you know, like, oh, yeah. man. Kayla on fire tonight. <laughs> she <laughs> is on fire tonight. These girls Cookie. are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to impress my god. Oh Let my me god. Go. Incredible. Okay, listen. Chris, did you have something you wanted to do? Or Steven, are you jumping? Yeah, I could have. No question. Still us? Yeah, yeah. I'll try to finish off uh, Nick's lady. John does okay. not like people reaching for bags of gold. Yeah, uh, listen. We are dearly. the stealers. Like, that's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lied very hard for that gold. <laughs> and then I'll do that thing again where I mark my stress and then I add my proficiency to the spell cast roll here. Two threes. Oh! Two threes is a crit. <laughs> what? Also as a wizard. I always put three as my um, wizards get like a lucky my number that you pick. Number. My favorite number is 13, but I do three. So I get a hope on that one. Nice. I don't think you get two, right? If you get two of the same number. What the fuck? Oh, you, well, I mean, you get two anyway, it's two right? two different features. Well, you don't get two because it's a crit, but you get one because it's a crit, and then you get another because of that. Wizard feature? I'm so sorry, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. I, my brain went blank because I'm just on a high of crits back to back. What's the That's question? Wild. That's wild. Uh, uh, he was saying that his he's got a wizard feature that if he rolls his like preferred number, he gets a hope. Um, <sighs> and you hit then the same number twice. It's just one, get, right? It's, it's not two. It's just gonna be one. There's it's just no way one. we can yeah. count it twice. Yeah, right. That sounds crazy. That sounds yeah. a little cheesy, but but you do get one for the crit as well, right? Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. you get two hope. So you would still get two hope from and that. clear stress, you know, if and you had stress, one. Oh, and had. clear stress. Yep. But this one has the painful um one because I uh, used a so weapon attack. Gonna so stress, stress this back. day. Yeah. Okay. So um, first, so what what is your damage die? Because we need to get to the max of that first. So. 5d20 plus 7. <laughs> uh, this, yeah. So oh let's let's roll it just so you can get the damage out. That's 107 as I a base. Play? Oh shit. Yeah, he oh took God. so he took the blood staff. The blood yeah. staff every time you successfully attack you have to take a stress it hurts you, but the damage uh -huh. die is a d20. So, Chris, don't give forget, me these numbers and I'll do the math for you, okay? I don't know that it matters, okay. but... I got an 8, and then I got a 20. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I got a 3. Okay. Two more. I got a 12. Okay. And then I got a 17. Oh, that's 6... 167! Wait, 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 don't forget the 2D12. Don't yeah, forget the 2D12. on top of that, there's another 2D12. <laughs> Let's do it. You're going down in history. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, Velocidad <laughs> says, rules as written, he gets to hope. He rolled two threes. Oh, really? 
Okay, I'm fine with it. Take your second hope. Listen, rules is written. Let's go. That's true. That's a great point. And honestly, players get to feel cool. What's your D12s? It's all cooled up players. 11 together. I rolled an 8 and a 3. Okay, so it was 167. Okay. And then plus that 11 brings it to 178. 178 70. points of Jesus. fucking damage. So how do you, how, what do you do? What is the, what does this look like? You need to be you... boss with this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the thing you can think what is even the thing you were well, doing? I, I don't know either. What's the attack? What's the spell? It's just this a is staff a blood attack. staff. Yeah. That does oh, hella damage, but you take it stress every time you hit something because oh it, it's a weapon that hurts you, kind of like grogs, I feel like. Oh my god. Um, also, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and spicy. what what does it look like? What does your attack look like? Remember, he just hurt me a lot and killed my attack. What does it look like? Hurt your leg um, and stole your money. <laughs> Well, it's... no, this is a different person. You're attacking yeah. Nyx or you're attacking mind. Bruno? I went for Nyx. Nyx. So, so yeah, you just, this person just attacked uh, Santiago. Yeah, stole oh, my right, money. Right, 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 yeah, right. so it stole Santiago's money. But, yeah, so this is like your staff attack. So it's like your, your, uh, your basic attack. Like, you're like every, like anytime you're like just like casting a spell. So what's this yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. So I guess as it's the blood staff, John uh, bites his hand and blood drops like seep up to the, the crystal of the staff. I slam it on the ground and from the ceiling, just a, a giant thing of blood comes down and just like a bunch of spikes. Spike, like spiky blood, blood ball? Yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah, so y'all, y'all go ahead. Uh, I just want like can can it coat us? Are y'all all excited to be covered in blood? Because I am. I want to be covered in blood. We are so, all covered in blood now. You so, see, you yeah, you see Chris of kind car. of look over. See, or you see John look over, having noticed that this motherfucker's still in gold. No one steals gold with me. And he <laughs> snicks his hand. You see yeah. the blood rise to the. And he slams the uh, the blood staff down. You see this just like massive, like it looks like a mace ball, just ball with spikes coming out of it in uh. every random direction. Just smash down on Nyx and just like a waterfall of blood shoot We're out. We're in the and shining. Just, uh huh. Basically, <laughs> like the elevator just opened right in front of y'all. Average <laughs> King's gonna love this shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, just, I, he's just like, mm. yeah. Honestly, he's sitting back. He's like, mm, <laughs> I chose a good like, flock this year. <laughs> said, talk to me nice. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> check out that drip. Uh, he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking you did that, um, and it's still y'all's go. God, how? Uh, there's no way I could possibly follow that. With, 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 like, uh, Rachel, you gotta, you gotta get um, a crit in solidarity. Had to never say Four that. Four times to the charm. Right now. That's mm -hmm. Was that back to back crits? It was. It was. Okay. It, was, it, right? was yeah. it was back to back crits. You know what? Just yeah. because I said I was going to do it a while ago, I am going to go ahead and do the telekinesis, right? So, but I, I want to, I want to again make it matter. So that bust is big, right? And now yeah. covered in blood, I assume. Yeah. I am going to striding it's forward. Right here on the map. I'm gonna extend my arm to summon it up and I want to make it crash. Um, I am going to um, go ahead and I want to again use hold my earrings. I'm really whittling my hope at this point, but I want to make, I want to try to hit. So <clears throat> that's going to be, I have to make a spell cast roll first to grab that item. So I guess as point of order, I'm not using my hope on this. So you set the difficulty first to see if I can grab it, okay? Okay. Okay. So this is just to see if I can lift the bust. Okay, that is a uh, 15. Is that high 12, enough? 12 is what I set it at. Okay, so great. So now that I have grabbed that item, now I'm gonna <laughs> crash it onto them. And so this is the one where I am spending that hope 
for the secondary spell cast. This is against the target. I swear to no God. Shot. I swear no shot. I swear to fucking God. No. I There's swear no to God. One and a one. Oh, Are you snake fucking? Eyes too. Woo! That's not <laughs> natural ones. Damn. Oh my God. Did we just win? Did we win? <laughs> we uh, win, really, Daggerheart. Very unfortunate turn of events for me, but good job for you. Matthew Mercer, Spencer Stark, you done. We won it. Game over. Open beta closes. Are you Daggerheart's over? Three we'll attacks, open. back to back criticals. <sighs> oh the odds my that, god! Dude? I'm like sweating. Wild. I'm I know me too. Like the back of my knees just covered in sweat. Okay, so this nervous. is and this is crazy too because the reason I wanted to cast a spell I'm shaking is because <laughs> as a warden of the elements in my remember I am a master of the elements at this point on fire my proficiency increases by plus one for attacks that spells that deal damage, so that is not five but six. Um, and Beautiful. the telekinesis is D12. So Ooh. six times 12 is, guys, I'm bad at math. Six times four is 24. Is that 84? Six times 72, four? 72, no? 72. 72? Okay, great. Thank you, guys. So 72 plus the um plus the four points of physical damage so 76 which is backwards 67 i'm gonna count it um 76 points of physical damage uh at a as a base and now i still get to roll those 60 12. oh my god that's so wow. wild you guys nice I still can't believe it. I'm still in shock. Three in a row? That's insane. Like people That is insane. All right. So I rolled a six and a two. Those are bad six rolls. Six plus two. Okay. And then I'm gonna Are you doing the math for me, baby? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Oh, and eleven and a ten. It's eleven plus ten. And then Last one, eight. and then 14. an eight and a one. You got a uh, hundred and fourteen points of damage. <laughs> and, and you're attacking Bruno. Um, I, I thought we were, Nix is dead, right? Nix is dead. And Nix I was going dead. to Bruno oh. first, so yeah, absolutely. That bust. Can I just because it's a critical? Oh, and also I mark a hope and and get rid of a stress. Oh, yeah. Clear stress. Um. Okay. Because it's a critical. As I grabbed that bust, could I have just also grabbed a pillar and like wrenched it out of its sockets and poof, from either side? Or there are two busts. You could have just like no, done a No, I want to grab a pillar because I want the, the ceiling to crack a little. Okay. I wanna, yeah, that's cool. And I'm screaming on all. fire just. <laughs> oh my God. All okay. right. All right. I love it. Yeah. So like as you, you pull this this blood covered bust flies over and like hits him in the side and as he takes that damage you kind of see his like eyes widen and in that that moment of like oh shit this hurts you pull that column and it comes down and hits him like towards the back and he kind of stumbles forward and looks at you he's and alive? he is he's alive he marks and the stress he did mark a stress. Um, I, I, I did, I, I'm here. I'm fully aware of your stress abilities now. Um, um, yeah. All right. Um, and with that, I'm going to use my fear to take back. Yeah, please do. Because um, three ahead, criticals try. in a row. Three but also, row I, I, I want to add that the people in chat, because again, you guys are here with us. Three crits so close together. Wild MC Cat. Velocidad said, damn, so that just happened. Absolutely. And Major Paul with the comment of the night. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> it's always sunny references. Always hit around here. That's crazy, oh, guys. Gosh. What the fuck? That's fucked. Insane. That was really fucked. Good job, guys. I, I <laughs> yeah. love y'all for that. That was, <laughs> that was absolutely fucked. Um, I feel, okay, I feel cool, high. cool, 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 cool. I feel cool, high cool, right cool. now. No. It's, it's hard to come down to that, yeah. <gasps> tabletop, you guys! Y'all are my new tabletop friends. It's cool. Crits feel good, dude. Crits really feel do. good. Crits feel great. Crits feel great. Uh, 
And then a crit on my lucky High number, level crits wizard. are crazy. Just like um, for posterity, that was three ugh. attacks back to back crits at level eight. Tier four combat, <laughs> motherfuckers. I can't believe that. That's insane. You can be like Kevin. Yeah, no, in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not, ch not chilling right now. Um, yeah, okay. I never touched the money. So, Bruno is going to take a shot at you. Yeah, let him do uh, what after he that. Yeah, yeah, he better kill me. Jesus. Fucking... Is he moving out of my range at all? No, I'm not. He's nope. Living okay. there with you. Does a 17 hit you? Ew. You. Yeah. Uh, Willow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck me, man. I'm to think of it. Steve did get a crit earlier too, so everybody got one. I did. Everyone's got a crit. We did. And then I mark. I mark a hit point because I hit out. you, right? Oh yeah. You yeah. You take you take and one take, d10 uh, of damage. It's a five. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Love that for me. Love and that then you mark me. a stress because you took damage. I know. I already fucking marked the stress. This is bullshit. Poor. <laughs> Oh. Guys, play um, druids. Play druids. This shit's so good. <laughs> that's 30 points of damage. Oh, well, that's not my severe. Um, wow, I actually am pretty hurt. Uh-oh. Thank you for telling me that. Are you going to die? <laughs> no, not yet. Um, sorry, I was so high that I forgot that I've been taking damage this whole time because I like getting hit with this character. Um, no, I'm going to, you know what? My armor is 10. Oh, 30 points. Also, my bugs are up. I'm spending a hope to to take make it, it's 15, and I put it back up. That's 15 points of damage. Um, okay. I'm going to use one armor slot. So again, wave of fire in front of me gets glass up to take some of the blow. That puts it down to um, a five, which is still, I'm going to take one hit point. So marking that. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, guys. Cool. Mm, right in the next attack, you see a uh, soul move up, and he's gonna having <laughs> yeah, a... soul. Connor McGregor, like who the fuck's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is that guy right there? Um, so uh, eighteen will hit perfect. you. Yeah. Um, marking a stress, you lose a handful of gold. Oh, no. Oh, him too. Oh, him too. Uh, Didn't you see what happened to the last bitch that stole from us? <laughs> He's about to get his paper up. Ooh. Who are you attacking right now? Uh, Willow. Oh, well, no. Um, that's going to be 18 points of damage halved because you're resistant, right? Yeah, but... You got your but, bugs up. But that's the last time I can do that because it's a hope, and now I am officially out of hope. So awesome. I love that for me. Nine, but I'm going to use an armor to, like, take all of that away so that I take no more health. Um, okay. But, yeah, my fairies at this point, with that blow, they're... <laughs> And now they're all gone, laying little pixies on the ground, kind of fluttering. And I like look to my feet with that last wave of fire and uh, just kind of bullshit blow fire more as my hair begins to curl around me. But I'm hurt. And then you roll a d10. You hurt my guy, correct? And a stress, yes. And a stress. Nine. Awesome. Love that. Love that for me. Love that for me. Um, it's so fun. I roll so much as a druid all the time. Rolling uh, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. It's never me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all out of hope. That's a scary thing to say. Does an 18 hit you, John? Misses. All right. So these guys swing at you once. They miss. They realize that for whatever reason, you're impossible. Um, so they are going to shift over for the second attack. I like Does an 18 hit you, Santiago? An 18 does hit Santiago. Oh, an 18. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's going to be 18 points of damage. 18. So, I'm just going to take one armor because that's five. And my minor damage is 16. So, that would mark it under, right? Mm -hmm. So, so you just take... Anything? 
Well, that's major. You still take one point. Okay. Yeah. One point. There we go. You got me. <laughs> Um, and then I use my last action token as reaction with Bruno, and he's gonna try to hit you too, Santiago. Wow. Oh. Diversifying the portfolio. Hold on. Don't you You're be taking holding. my gold. No. Don't you steal Hold. Hold. I love that at the beginning of this combat, guys. In chat, just so you know, like before stream, he was like, "Oh, it's important to note you both. Ha each one of you have two bags of gold." And we we're like, mm -hmm. "So nice." And then he's nice. like, "Maybe we we're gonna get to use it." Oh, he's stealing um, to murder us. <laughs> to murder. Uh, does a seventeen hit you? Seventeen is right at my evasion. Oh. Like I really thought I was gonna miss you that time. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my god. Okay. <sighs> you need us to do Thir that. Uh, 39 points of damage. That's so big. Good job, Steven. So by He's, he, he does I'm good gonna, damage. I'm going to take a little armor to make it a major and just take two. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Beautiful. And now I'm all tapped out again. It's back to y'all. I'm going to need to pop a health potion, you guys. I'm going to need to pop a yeah, health potion real it. quick. Um, break it. <laughs> okay. So that's an action. Oh my god, a one. Okay, I can one health. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> I love that energy, just to be clear. That's an action token added to you. Um, all right. So, I know. Beautiful, uh, beautiful. I have, yeah, so what are you guys doing? Um, since I am so hopeful now, mm -hmm. I was thinking oh. of uh, uh, sunlight beaming again. Sunlight oh. beam! Beam them. Solid, yeah. Bruno, right? Bruno's doing some bullshit. He's gotta be almost There's... dead. Bruno's almost dead. <laughs> yeah. he, That's really he, did uh, he did not yeah. attack you this last round uh, or that, uh, that final hit. He went after Santiago. Because he, he couldn't take the D10. <laughs> 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 um, so, but, but Chris, it's everything in very far range, right? He has to spend hope to choose multiple targets. Oh, yeah, so it's uh, you make a spell cast roll against any enemies in front of you within far range. As you unleash powerful burning rays of sunlight, you can spend a hope for each enemy you succeed against that you want to affect. So I get to like roll first and then spend the hope, right? The way if that's you worded. Went to, yeah, so like you roll to see if it succeeds against all the enemies within that range, and then you use hope to dictate who you damage. Yeah, just to clarify, can you read that last part about the hope one more time? It sounds like mm -hmm. a hope per stun. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So make a spell cast roll against any enemies in front of you within far range. You unleash the thing. Spend a hope for each enemy you succeed against that you want to affect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Cool. So let's, yeah, sunlight them. The light bulb, right? right. You like touch the light bulb, light bulb and then blares. Eureka. Oh. Eureka. Eureka. It's a me. I got uh, do, do, do. a three and a ten, a three on my uh, fear die. That's Chris's favorite number. That gives me a hope, right? Thirteen yeah, is my favorite does. number. Yeah. Three, three does give you a... So that's thirteen, and then plus my spell cast, which is four. So thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then plus my proficiency, which is five. So that would be 22. Why do you add your proficiency? Because I marked a stress to use Codex Touched. You can always mark a stress to add your proficiency to a spell cast roll. Okay. Oh, just when, oh, just, I, I, just since you don't normally add your proficiency, that's, that's why I was crazy. asking. Crazy! What a good yeah, question, yeah. Stephen. Because I was just like, yeah. yeah, you add your proficiency. I mentioned no, the codex thing before, <laughs> I, was like, but I don't know. If I'm 100 against you guys right now, so I was like, <laughs> yeah, you're like don't that point actually. of order. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, excellent. So 22 to hit. Is that right? 22. To 22. Yeah. Hit? Uh, 22 will hit. All of the peoples. Velocidad said um, wizards, man, and I agree. And I agree. Yeah, for sure. Oh, wait, we can't reference. And so all the peoples would be three in total, right? Yep. And so since it rolled three on my wizard lucky number, and I got a hope, I get two back, right? Yes, because yes. you get a hope from rolling hope, and you rolled yep. a three, so you mark a yep. hope. Absolutely. Wow. All right. And then you guys roll a reaction roll, which is 14. 
so three of them. So Soul got a natural 20. Hell yeah, listen. Bruno got a 19. And the Legion got a 19. So they all wow, save. they all save. Okay, they won't be stunned, but they're still taking the five d twenty damage, right? Ooh, Wait, uh, that's forty twenty plus five. Oh, that's forty twenty. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, it's still so, still so much damage. Yeah, these from your age. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right, I got a seven on the first. Seven. A six. Sixty-seven. <laughs> a thirteen. That's you. Give us a, a three. Is three. And then an eleven. Oh. <laughs> and then you add five. <laughs> Plus five. Okay. Not the three on the other one. All yeah. right, 26, 37, uh, 42. 42, the answer to the universe and everything. It turns out like almost every number has like a meaning, you know? So like, but 42, which is great. Incredible. <laughs> MC Cat said definitely recommending to a new player tomorrow to play Wizard. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, Wizard is popping <laughs> off. They're also like really hard to hit. It's crazy. They are super hard to hit. That's crazy crazy how hard you are to I don't I know that I want to I want to keep playing you know because obviously that's what we're doing here but one thing that's really cool about Daggerheart I think is that it takes these classes that sometimes aren't super fun to play in tabletop like bards historically they're like well I'm choosing it for the fun but I know you're gonna kill me and a wizard same thing I really like that they've done stuff that makes them usable so anyway so 42 points of damage so Steven that's yeah, so, them, right? so yeah, 42 to each of them. Yeah. Fast stress. <laughs> yeah, so it's on a success. They take 40, <laughs> 20 plus five. Yeah. All right, you uh, take out the rest of the Legion and you take Bruno out. <gasps> oh. So uh, do you want to tell us how it looks when you take uh, Bruno out? With the light. Yeah. Um. <laughs> He's been what? whispering sweet nothings to your lady this whole fight. He has been this talking some shit at me. Get him, um, <laughs> I take uh, this one. I'll make the beam the uh, ring that uh, Willow. The blade of glass ring. The, the blade of glass ring will light up and blast his ass into smithereens. Love it, love it. Yeah, so it, like. Uh, oh, does is it like a big ring that like kind of encircles him and then like yeah yeah and kind of circles him and then squeezes him into a, like a... Ooh, yeah until you like can he, he does. like you know in those like anime blasts where the light hits something and you see like them begin to just like separate into like pieces and burn up in the light can he do that just so no! very much as like the ring tightens around him you see him like eyes wide and like he like y'all saw uh well yeah, no, you two did see this. Um, the clank earlier kind of turned to ash and, and disappeared. Santiago, oh. you saw this with Oldie too, after he like snapped the guy's neck. Mm -hmm. He turned to ash and disappeared. So it's like, you see these like bright lights kind of like being pushed into him and pushing out and these like huge chunks of these like floating ash are going in every direction as he kind of just <laughs> into nothing. Oh man. So Badass. what's left on the board? Um, y'all got so. Uh, uh, I, I Are you still... jumping in or can I go? <laughs> no, it is. It, I don't have any fear. Uh, oh. <laughs> <Let me try. laughs> and he marked that stress, right? He's not stressed out. He's good. Yeah, he's got three out of his four. Okay. So. All that. Yeah. Right. Um, got him again. Got him again. <laughs> I'm gonna hit in that hope to do the apex predator thingy. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So that's a six. I'm hopeless. Oh, hey. Caleb, <laughs> don't miss. Again. Kayla's <laughs> crazy. Jesus Kayla's Christ. dice are crazy. You got her some good ones. Oh, like, but I'm not dying. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Good job. Yeah, we can see it. We can see both of them. Yeah, incredible. I know she ain't lying. She just. Yeah. So if you want to <laughs> if you want to go through and get I... your damage total up, you can. Okay. Or okay. I can just tell you that you get you kill this guy. I love okay. to do the damage. I know what I want to do because I got this critical Crit. success. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me take the stress away out of hope. All that fun stuff. Yeah. But I want to. You know, he runs him through with a sword, but like his last move, this might be too much. No, I'm sorry not. for it's cannibalism, spoilers or whatever. Trigger, oh, warning. trigger warnings, oh, cannibalism. No. 
cannibalism if you stay safe out there, guys. He's gonna bite his jugular, and then he's gonna rip it out and just start, just eat it raw. Right there in front of everybody. Raw and wriggling fava beans. <laughs> Okay, uh, Kayla, this is a, a very important growth moment in tabletop RPG. So um, you can, you know that this is killing him. So we could just bypass the calculations. If you want to see how big a hit it is, we could also like well, do the I'm math. more than happy to see your yeah. hit. So, okay. I mean, I don't really care. That's, do y'all care? Uh, listen, if yeah. it's so, me, I super care. If it's you, I'm fine to perceive. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. This is a choice you, everybody has to make at some point in their tabletop At lives. some point or another, it's like either it's like, oh, you killed him. Do you yeah. want to roll the damage? I always do. I always do. <laughs> um, so I, know, I, I got his that, that, you matter. guys have just started like blasting these guys away. Um, how are y'all looking? I want to know. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, listen, Santiago, I don't think is taken like any help well, yeah i've taken i've taken three out of my nine hp and then okay. i've taken three armor slots out of seven yeah okay uh I, i'm right around the same honestly like because i took that health potion i'm at four out of my nine uh, for my health and three out of my eight armor so like i'm about middle range honestly so fine fine what are you, John? I, zero, 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 zero? I took four <laughs> hits, but then I healed ah! for two. So uh, I had two health, <laughs> three armor slots, and then like healing. five hope. I shouldn't have given you any health potions. Well, listen, I've got five. I have the one health. I have health. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, all right, so thematically, let's end our story. So you are we watched. ending or are you going to like do something crazy with like that? Uh, the God, he's fine. He doesn't hurt us. So got three crits. <laughs> listen, listen, this, this is how it's going to happen. Okay. Um, you watch Santiago kind of rotate around you because Soul was on the opposite side of you. So he kind of like comes around you. And as he comes around, um, uh, Soul is like rearing up for another hit with his two hammers. Um, and you see Santiago just like kind of step in, elbow up his arms away, and then just go in for that jugular. Just and just and as Love it pulls it. out the blood sprays and as it hits the air it turns to ash um, um and it just oh, no, kind of do i not get to eat him you a don't get to eat so, so you get you get that you get that taste of like meat and blood in your mouth but then it yeah it does like turn that. to ash um <laughs> and then you hear from the throne uh, a, a soft <laughs> It's interesting to see that this day I can gain three. And he stands and he starts moving towards you. I, I, I walk in front of John immediately covered in blood, still on fire. Oh, we're going to say, because um, I know you're saying all that, but Santiago like immediately like kneels and like has his sword out. Like, well, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, on He's paper, ready. on paper, I'm fine, but role play thematically, I'm breathing heavy. You know, like. <sighs> <laughs> um, and and he strolls towards you, and when he stands, you kind of realize, oh, we're tiny. He towers over even you. He, this is a an example of what a deity is. <laughs> Rachel. Um, and That's so he play. moves wow. forward and he's just kind of got that lion kind of stride to him and then he stops and he looks down. Santiago, you said you you kneeled down? Mm -hmm. Start out. Mm -hmm. um, he reaches down and not like touching or hurting you in any kind of way, but you feel his hand kind of pause over your back and then you feel like a <sighs> through your chest. You, at equal parts, feel satiated and famished all at once. And he says, my first of my three chosen, stand and tell me your name. Oh my God. And so he does, he stands and he, his voice is a little hoarse. He's got to clear it. <clears throat> He's like, Santiago of the Charnel Mountains. Oh, incredible. Thanks. 
The last champion I had from those mountain ranges was Bruno, Soul, and Nyx. Since then, I've chosen from new places. But it goes to show you can't go wrong with what was right. He'll reach down, he'll touch your forehead, and you have... Go ahead and describe to me what you think um, a crest of his champion. Hmm. Because you said it was the scales earlier, right? So that's his, like, that's his, like, symbol. But Mm -hmm. you are becoming something more than just, like, a like, a priest or cleric or anything. You're becoming one of his champions. Can we do, it's a ripoff from Skyrim. Can we do the Brotherhood Bloody Hands? Oh, for sure. So you see as he, like, reaches up, he like kind of touches your forehead with that long, sharp metal like tip to his glove. Mm-hmm. And it just a draw of blood kind of pour, pours out. And as it pours out, it starts spiraling and building that like handprint on your forehead. Can I add just a touch of world building? Because so in my brain, we were already all covered in blood, right? This was a white, pristine Mm -hmm. room. And then the Mm -hmm. blood and everything filled the room. As he stood, could he have like, and all the blood just like away so that when he presses his palm onto her, then it really shows up again, you know? So what I will say is when he like reached down and like filled you with that presence, the blood like floated away from your um, your body and turned into that same ash that everything else is kind of evaporating. Okay, so the room is still bloody. We're still bloody. Love that because I like being bloody. Not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, and he accepted like him. <laughs> pristined and like yeah, you've accepted and he's given you your mark. Um, and he just kind of gestures to like for you to join him at his side. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so Diago said, hey, you were cool, but like... <laughs> <laughs> he leans... Uh, his place, that is, you know, and he's got a sword. Um, we're going to say the blade's touching the ground. He's just got his hands rested on the pommel behind his, his man. <laughs> 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 just you see him kind of like, he's looking down, because uh, you two are still standing back. He's looking down at Santiago as he takes his position next to him. And, uh, you know, has that, like, pride, that, like, excitement for what is happening. And then you see his eyes shift back to you two. Now, it's very rare that we take multiple champions at once. But the three of you have completed all of my trials. You've proven that you can pick what's important, keep what's you, what's yours, and fight for what you want. Now, it is up to you. Would you like to join my court as well? He like offers his hand out. All right, so Chris, this is a moment for us to decide. Oh, well, first, let me start. Steven, He's shaking his head over there. Steven, He's like, no. Nah, your bro. story, do you really mm-hmm. want us to join or you It is care? totally okay. up to you all, yeah. So, Chris, I'm of two minds. Number one, fuck gods, you know? But number two, like, in this moment, he's like, you know what you want and everything, and we are in love. Maybe it's like, oh, we, we, this is like almost our marriage ceremony. It could be that, you know? Like, which one of these two? I'm happy with either. We could say, or we could say. Yeah, this would be a dope shotgun wedding, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, if in if blood, that's of his mind, you know? Mouth. <laughs> okay, so then I, so then Wilhelmina, like staring up, is like, you know, hate in her, like, heart and everything, you know, and then she, he says that thing, um, and I'm going to ask, can you help me protect what's mine? Sweetheart, Ooh, not only will that. I, not only will I help you. But I'll give you the power for you to protect what's yours at any given moment. Never call me sweetheart a deal again. And then I look down to John and I keep saying, and we have a deal, darling. And I'm looking down at you. This is maybe corny, I guess, but I'll say I do. (laughs) (sighs) Oh, 
like, yeah, so I, I'm going to, like, lean down and, like, we do a little kiss, a little kiss moment. And then I stand up. And we're both there, ready to it's holding here. Yeah, hands. So goes by. <laughs> holding hands now. <laughs> the lover's card of the tarot, you know. He's got his hand out waiting for y'all. We'll both put our hands in together, right? Yeah. Both yeah, of our yeah. little three, two, one moment again. Rings. So, like, as y'all reach in and y'all touch the like his hand and, and acceptance, go. <laughs> um, he pulls his hand back and like as he's pulling his hand back the same thing that happened to santiago hits y'all they'll right. have this moment of just like complete satisf satisfaction but also just just like aching hunger that builds inside of you for what you want this is not a change um, to wilhelmina she has felt this way since she met john it, it's almost like i not chose healthy. this god to to fit your characters because i thought not only would it work well with oh, you too sweet. but like a love. <laughs> um, and he kind of like stands to his full height again. He reaches down and with like two fingers, his pointer finger and his pinky finger touches both of your foreheads at the same time. The same thing. You feel a prick in your forehead of pain and then that sigil starts to form onto your head. And as it like sets and dries, it vanishes, but in like certain hits of the light in this room, you'll see like the 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 like clear, almost invisible uh, mark on your foreheads. Oh. Um, he says, now I need you all to go back into your, the mortal realm. Find what you want, desire it, satiate me. Just leans up real tall, his arms out wide, and he slaps his hands, and you all wake up in your campsite. Um, you all have the feeling that what happened, happened. You, Wilhelmina and John, look down, and where you all had those grass rings at one point, the same grass ring has now been forged into a twisting gold and silver kind of ring. Give them wedding Wedding rings! It's dope. Um, <laughs> and then Santiago, <laughs> as you stand, you have this this relief, this burden that you've been carrying, this 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 goal that you've set for yourself has been achieved. How do you feel in that moment? Feels incredible. Is this towards the end of the game? This like, is, this I can is, kinda, uh, yeah. Is he just kind of Rolls over in his like sleeping bag. I'm assuming they're all around the fire. Mm -hmm. the bag, yeah, yeah. Y'all like, guys are literally waking up right where you closed your eyes. He looks at him and he's like, "Y'all want breakfast?" <laughs> you talk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's where we'll end it. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, can I do one? Can I do one more <laughs> thing? One thing. One more we'll thing. Because who knows? We'll if, as a GM, I never get to be a player. I never <laughs> get to be a druid. Like. And guys, I didn't even have to use my beast form. I was saving it for when I thought I was gonna die. No, even better. So like after we send, after we spend our morning like connecting and whatever, or like uh, I basically we you know uh, decide to go That's off to life, wherever mm -hmm. we're headed. Right, I'm going to uh, do the same thing that y'all saw me do before. I like flick my hands and fire spreads into my hair, and this time I expand my arms out and I become a phoenix a giant phoenix on fire and um, I'm a mythic aerial hunter and I like crane down you can both get on my back and we take flight into the air a fire bird emblazoned across the sky heading to back to maybe your home the charnel mountains the charnel mountains <laughs> there we go Sorry, I just love had to it. be a phoenix. I love it. I I love love we it. flew on a full stomach. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Um, well, you fuckers critted three times in a row <laughs> and killed two of my strong yeah, monsters really it. fucking fast. Yeah. Um, good job, guys. I really wanted to hurt y'all, but that was, that was unplanned that was for... But that's tabletop. I mean... It's swinging. That is, that is tabletop. That is yeah. it, 100%. 
You did so well, Stephen. So fun. This is the it kind did. of one. It was a lot of fun. This is the kind of one shot I really love. Is like light stuff that gets you, you know, a little bit invested in it, and then just mm. combat. You know, so. you had me sweating, I, dude. I do. <laughs> you had been able to like make it two different turns, you would have been able to hurt us more if we had like been hurt before the battle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the thing where you went in full health. Yeah, yeah. full everything, yeah. I should have yeah. tried to poison oh, y'all or something. You should have. <laughs> it's so funny too, because like, all three of us have been talking about, well, what if we die here? What if we die here? Like, yeah, I, you were kind of blaming it. Yeah. I had a speech. story and everything. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to kill one of you. I was I wanted gonna to kill turn one into the you. Phoenix before I died, you know? Like, um, yeah. I was oh, gonna give good. Wilhelmina my watch that stops time when it's a picture of us, and you know what I mean? The world around her kind of like hollows out. Kayla has Super one too. Cool. What was Kayla's? Yeah, I was gonna die ashamed that I embarrassed myself in front of my guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to I'll, 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 I'll eat you, right? That yeah. was like. Oh, yes. Oh, that was right. the thing. That was the. They were gonna have to. They, I didn't want to go to waste, so they were gonna need to eat me. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla and I had talked, and the idea was the we were gonna take her body or his body back to the Charnel Mountains, and, and they, they were gonna tell him that we had to eat him. <laughs> like, yeah. so. But not uh, the brain, because that's how you get a prion disease. No prion disease is here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and also, thank you guys so much in chat. Um, like, the Major Paul, God, the number oh, of... Do y'all want to hear something? Um, so y'all all live. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, if one of you had died, when y'all woke up, there would have just been a pile of ashes in that person's, like, bedroom. Oh, shit. I'm so that glad we didn't die, but it was gonna be so sad. But it was gonna be such a story. Oh, it was gonna be a story. Oh, like, yeah, that's oh my god, incredible, Stephen. Yeah, what else, that Stephen? Was, do you have really for us? Fun. You built. A uh, I mean, so th that was a really fun story. I'm glad that y'all enjoyed it. Um, I I did some good, uh, fun world building, just some ideas of uh, kind of you know helping me with that stuff, but uh. I mean, besides that, that was that was the big get. If y'all had attacked Zorik, I did have a stat block for him. Um, I would have turned on the whole group. Just so we're clear, I was ready. <laughs> yeah, well, I, would have been, I, would I didn't have, want to waste an attack. I should have made y'all attack him then. <laughs> that, would have been, that would have been it. Thanks, Major Peace Paul. out, everybody else. Major Paul has to bounce out, but thank you so Bye, much Major for Paul. coming Paul. Thanks thank so much. You for your All thank those you, gifted subscriptions, that was crazy, man. That I know I didn't thing. give you the, the, the hype that I felt like I should have, but I was like hyper-focused in getting things done um thank but that was amazing so love, what a love, fun love. night tonight thank you yeah thank you um yeah thank you everybody who came in tonight mm -hmm. you know it was such a good was night talking got... and hanging out it was so much fun so this was much, a yeah, really yeah, yeah it was a really good night MC feels Cat. like it's getting more lively every week it is mm -hmm. mc yeah, cat yeah. mother of pearl jean screen mm -hmm. la sombra dark cinda window major paul you know uh, philosophy dad was in here squire we had you know we had just everybody so we really it, did it it feels so thank you guys for coming along on this adventure with us all the way and for s sitting here while we kicked the shit out of some almost gods you know um <laughs> it was so fun and yeah william of dell we appreciate your friday watch and yeah. good night to you as well yeah. <laughs> and that's it from us is there anything else from anybody here tonight okay did y'all have fun so much fun, oh, yeah. Stephen. It was yeah. the best. <laughs> it was a great time. You have to write. This has got to be something that you write down for Dagger okay. Heart for other I, people. I have right? like no an outline time. of it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a good one. It's just a fun kind of like God scenario. Agreed. Mm -hmm. It was great. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much. Y'all have a wonderful night. You're getting all of your roses I saw in that. Chat. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so thank much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Clap, 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 clap. Awesome one shot. Thank you guys all so much. All right. Remember to, you know, I don't want, I don't care about any marketing tonight except for if you're not already in the Discord, please come join the Discord. Don't because... listen to her. We're on Twitter. <laughs> We're on YouTube. Follow us on Discord. We're on Instagram. 
Um, and if you haven't already followed us on, Swi on Twitch, here we are, guys. Are. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. We won't keep you any longer. Y'all have a great night. Roll with Hi, home. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye, everybody.